What? Where am I? There I am. <laughs> I guess I didn't have that loaded in yet. Uh, God fucking damn it, it's a Bubsy day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's a Bubsy day. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is, in fact, a Bubsy day. Uh, so we did a... Oh, man, how long ago was it now? How long ago was the Bubsy stream? Let's take a look here. Let's take a look and see how long ago that was. Uh, that was the 14th of February. And I streamed Bubsy 3D for seven and a half hours. And, uh, yo, negative eight hours left on that Bubsy Bucks. Donation goal, huh? How about that? I forgot that. I didn't even know it went to negative. I thought it just like. I don't know. Apparently, it can do that. Right. Anyway, that's right. Bubsy. Yeah, I was, um, <laughs> I was like, th I need to get my controller. I was thinking about Bubsy. And I was thinking, I was thinking, man, Bubsy is like one of those things where once I kind of got, like, once I got into it, I was like, oh, baby, here we go. It's Bubsy. It's happening. And then the moment I got out of it, the very moment I got out of it, I was like, oh god. That was, uh, okay. There is this hesitance, extreme hesitance. Could you give us some of your political beliefs? Kill everyone now. Condone first degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat, Eat shit. shit. My name is Makukio. My favorite streamer is Bunsegil. Ooh. That's a fucking tier three, baby. 13 months. Thank you very much, Makwa. Thank you very much for the goddamn tier three. Single-handedly uh, pushing those Twitch payouts forward. Uh, well, not single-handedly. You know what I mean by that. It, yeah, it's a Bubsy day. And, um... Because today, I... I was I was planning since like Sunday or whatever. I was planning to do Bubsy this week specifically. I was like specifically like I'm going to do it, not like maybe I'll do it if I can fit it. I was no, I I am going to do it. That was the plan. And um, kind of today, I I found myself thinking, oh god, I really don't want to play Bubsy, <laughs> but I have to. Because I, I, I want to finish it. I feel like I have to finish it. It feels like... It feels like finishing Bubsy 3D is... It feels like it is my ultimate purpose. As a, as a living, breathing, and thinking animal. I just simply have to. And so, we will play Bubsy. Now, it is 7 p.m. This is actually a lot later than I normally like to start my streams. I am a very uh, daylight type of person. Uh, the moment the sun goes down, I go to bed. Sort of, I wish it was like that all the time, but it's more like the moment the sun goes down, uh, I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> That's really what it is. And, uh... Yeah, I, I was gonna do... A sh I was gonna start this stream at 5 p.m. But, like, everyone else I knew was streaming, and I was like, ah... 
I'll push it back a little bit. I don't want to be like. It's one thing to like stream while someone like like while one of my friends is streaming, cause like that's fine, like whatever. We don't really share the same audience as it's not like we're fucking fighting each other for fucking turf or anything, you know. And like we're both independent creatures, and we we stream, and it, and that's our thing that we do, and um, that's fine. But like literally all three of my stream friends were streaming at the same time, and they're all streaming right now. Actually, they're live right now. Uh, I know Xana's gonna like raid into me. Probably soon. I don't think she knows that I'm live. Unless someone tells her, but whatever. Uh, God damn it, I don't wanna. I have to. I have to play Bubsy. So, Bubsy, we will play. Yeah, you were just on Rosie's stream. I was, uh,. I was hanging out on Xana's, and then I was on Sangria's before then. They've been going for a long time. Uh, they've been going, on, going for a few good hours today. I think they're trying to finish the game that they're playing. And it's one of those that's going to take them a hot a hot little bit. And uh, let me get my... Uh, let's get the PlayStation plugged in, baby. Let's get my emulator booted up. Unfortunately, I have to do this. And unfortunately, the Kingsway music has to stop in order to facilitate me doing this. Uh, Alright, full screen. And then... There we go. Perfect. Wanna capture? There it is. Is this the fucking PAL version of this? No, 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 it's not. I'm look, looking at my FPS counter. Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't look right. Oh, fuck, exploded. Huh? Oh, God. It's Big Ape. It's here. Peter. The ape is here. Monkey. <laughs> the pop-ups totally don't spoil the bet I was doing. I booted up Simpsons Wrestling because I thought it'd be funny. But I forgot. It takes a long time for for a game to to boot. Look. It's Simpsons Wrestling. There's Homer. Homer is the fifth pick in the lineup for some reason. I guess because they wanted, like, the titular Simpsons to be in the middle of this character select. This character select is so fucking ugly. It's bad. It's really bad. You know what I actually learned? Um... I learned uh, the other day that this game was released like a year or so into the PlayStation 2's lifespan. Marge Simpson versus so like this is Marge this is like Simpson. as late as you can possibly fucking get for a PS1 you know, game. It's really fucking funny. And be very, very ashamed. Also, there's literally no wrestling in this game. Give up now, loser. There's you no don't wrestle in this game. The fastest. Like, I think you pin, but you don't wrestle. You just, you just kind of power stone. Anyway, so March throws out Maggie, and that's pretty fucking overpowered. Because it's just like a deep, it's like a static debuff that like hits your opponent. It's pretty fucked up. You'd think Bart would be pretty good being like a zoner with his like slingshot ability and his smaller hitbox. He does have that fucking command grab though, which is pretty crazy. But in fact, March's taller hitbox can make it pretty hard to like approach from the air. Because uh, th this does have that kind of like deep rock style um, uh, uh, player hitbox bouncing mechanic. 
So like if the player, if the enemy player like actually does manage to get on top of your head, they kind of go really high. And because Marge is so tall, the uh, the enemy goes even higher, which kind of leaves them disabled for a long period of time, which gives you an opportunity to regenerate your stamina. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm making all of this up. Anyway, enough of enough of that joke. It's time for the next one, uh, which is okay. This one, this one's not a joke. This one's me being mean. But guess what else I ha guess what we could be doing right now instead of Bubsy. Guess what game I could be playing instead. Look, look, look at look at what I could have been doing, but instead I'm I'm, I'm doing Bubsy to you. At 6:13 a.m. in a forest just outside Mizerna That Falls, said, a small town at the base of the Rocky Mizerna Falls girl was found is the so Bubsy of life sim games. It is the Bubsy of life sim games. <laughs> the girl. I've had this thing, I've had this, I've had this, uh, English patch set up for, like, a year. I've had it set up for, like, a year. It's just been sitting here in my emulator. Uh, one day. We'll play Mazerna Falls one day. Unfortunately, today's not that day. Anywho. Anywho. You know, you know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, actually, hold on. I have to do this properly. And uh, load state. Where were we? Oh, God. OK, well. It's Bubsy time. Hey, look, everybody, it's Bubsy. Unfortunately, I left off in the middle of the level. So I don't know where the fuck I am or what's going on. I don't know what's happening. I just know that it is Bubsy time. I, I I have a little coffee that I'm drinking to get me through this late night stream. So hold on while I... You may have noticed from the stream announcement, uh, I did pull up Bubsy on, the, on, 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 on VG Resource, and I did... Uh, I did build an animation rig for Bubsy. And I, 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 I do have, that's a thing I have now. <laughs> I do have a skeleton rig for Bubsy now. Uh, and I also have all of Bubsy's bitmaps. So how do I unpause? Why is it? Oh, I'm, I'm clicked out. Well, we're off to a good start. How the fuck do I play this game again? Oh shit. Right, I'm on driver controls. I forgot. I forgot I'm on driver controls. Okay. We are we are off to a very good start here. Oh right, yeah, that hurts me. Can I just like go back to the fucking main menu? Without getting a goddamn game over. Oh my god. You know, I'm gonna adjust my microphone here. This is like bothering me. It looks like I'm too fucking loud. Let me like. Let me like do a bit of that. I think that's fine. I, I'm removing the gain boost on my mic. I'll be a little bit quieter, but it should be a little less peaky overall. Okay, I need to. This is a bad place to. I, so this is the. I don't remember what this level's name is. It's an Amity, Amityville horror pun. I I don't know. Uh, I think I need I think I need a fucking hard reset on this one though, cause I'm I'm lost as fuck. But I'm not really sure. I don't trust. I don't fucking trust this game to save my game properly. So I'm just gonna get a game over. I'm just gonna game over on purpose real quick. I know I wasn't that far. All right. All right, Bubsy gamers, let's go. There we go.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game is kind of a a hell of its own. It's it's fucked. It is entirely fucked, and I hate it. It's great though. I I think. Woollyville Horror, right? Right. That was the pun they went with. I think we were at like at, at, oh fuck. This fucking thing. I think we were just like at the start. Uh oh yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to remember how to control this fucking game. Okay. Right. Right, yeah. Uh backwards jumping was like the best way to maneuver. That I discovered. Shit. Backwards jumping and just strafe jumping in general. Is your most is your most successful movement option? Hey, okay, can you ang angle your shots? You can. Oh right, I have strafing. The strafing sucks. Right, I forgot. Hey oh! And then I'm gonna. Ah oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, I have to remember how to control this stupid fucking video game. Ah. Oh, oh. Okay, Bubsy. Thank you very much. Hey, can I kill this fucking thing? Oh wait, there's like a power up here. But fuck yourself. Okay, that kills it. There we go. I... I can't pull... I... Mm. I forgot how bad it was, dude. Dude, I forgot how bad it was. It is that bad. It, this game is actually that bad, I forgot. Just be glad I don't have it- I don't have, like, the game volume cranked for you guys. Cause it is, like, it is- this is not a great listening experience, just generally speaking. So this is where we were. The checkpoint's right above us. Fuck my ass. <laughs> Number one Bubsy Gamer, let's go. There we go, gamers. Okay, and then the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, here it is, the prop- <laughs> Thanks, game designers! Fantastic! Uh, and then we gotta go that away. Oh, this, there's a little bitch over there. <laughs> I love the little assholes. Oh, they're so good. Oh, the little fucking assholes just looking at you like you fucking owe them something. Prop, pop, prop, 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 propeller? That's a mangled fucking pun. I hate the little goopy guys. You can't fucking jump on them. I think you can't jump on them at least. Oh, fuck. Ah! I- my fingers got confused there. And I took damage. It's- it, it's gonna take me a bit to- to allocate myself to these stupid controls again. I mean, I'm using what I think is probably the- the best... ...controls that I've got access to here. There we go. Hi, Bubsy, thanks for talking. Okay. Nauseating way the camera- hey, are you aiming at me? Wow, look at that mountain. Don't we have Bubsy Vision? Isn't there like a Bubsy Vision button? Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, well. Elden Ring moment. What is it? It's like, uh. uh select? It's not. Alright, whatever. There, there, there was a look around button. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I don't know if I can check. Was it like one of the? No, those are the strafes. It's not that. Down is that. Up is that. Oh, it's square. No, it's not square. It's circle. There it is. That's the look around button. Okay. That's important. That's how you turn without moving. Are right, you little shithead? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm wrong. I'm home free. It don't matter because I'm home free. Yeah, I didn't commit. Uh. Yep, yeah, FromSoft fucking announced that. Oh, Elden Ring DLC, huh? With like no additional information, <laughs> which is a little like, uh, okay, all right, guys, whatever. I'll 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 play you fucking DLC when it comes out. Even if I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, yeah, it was really low key. It literally, the announcement, it was, oh, well, at least he's dead. The announcement was literally just a, uh, a tweet. It was just a tweet. That was it. It was a tweet with like a, a single image. Yeah. Shadow of the Erd Tree, very creative name. And it's, it's probably gonna be about fucking Mikola, cause Mikola's in the image, and he's riding torrent, or they're riding torrent. Mikola has, like every character in Elden Ring, Mikola has that like duality thing going on. Cause I think they're also like Saint Trina or some shit. I don't know. Duality. Radagon is America. Is that literal? Is that? Well, it, it is literal. You see it happen. But what does that even fucking mean? Smile. I don't know. Is Mikola the same way? I, fuck, fuck, fuck if I know. Is this gonna have something to do with Mikola being in Moog's funny little box? Cocoon? I'm dead. I hate this. I hate this enemy specifically. It sucks. Yeah, there's a lot of content. I'm curious how the DLC is gonna be implemented. I don't have a character right now that's like appropriate to bring into any fucking DLC content I could imagine. So if when that when that does come out, I'll probably be rolling a new character for stream stuff. It's been like ages since I fucking talked. Yeah, I'll bring DLC. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to it. You know, obviously I'm looking forward to it. It's fucking Elden Ring. Yeah, shout out to the Earth Tree. I, I I'm just wondering if they'll like shove that like here's the thing if, if i were to take a guess as to like where they would put the eye these platforms are so fast i don't know why they're so fucking fast i hate these platforms i'm mm, sorry i'm getting used to air control again this fucker i hate this guy i hate this fucking guy i need to kill i think you can kill them with an atom probably i fell into the thing god fucking damn it God fucking damn it. Uh Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to whatever the hell. I have no expectations. I mean like I I'm expecting like a painted world. Like a Dark Souls 3 painted world kind of thing. Stop oh, fucker. That did work. That's like all like like something of that size I I'd be totally fine with. Like a cool little new area. Yeah, like, it'll probably be one of those things where... Nice screenshot. It'll probably be one of those things where, like, you beat Moog, and then you touch the fucking hand coming out of the sack. And that, like, brings you into the fucking other world or whatever that, the, like, the other zone the DLC takes place in. Okay, where's this goopy Greg motherfucker? These guys are... They are facing me. All right, goopy Greg. Your days are numbered! All right. Okay, now I just need to clean up these guys and uh, we'll be free to platform to our heart's content. I think. Let's find out. Uh. No way. Fuck me. Yeah, uh, my friend David just got like a computer capable of like actually running Elden Ring. So he has been like experiencing the game for the first time like this week. Um, which has been, it's been fun talking to him a bit about, uh, you know, when they're dead for so long, you forget they're there. I was like a three second one where, where it just says the mercenaries and that's it. Of course there's a I don't, I, I don't have any fucking personal experience with Resident Evil. Which I intend to remedy at some point by going through all the, the classic PS1 stuff on stream. 
be like next October. We did Silent Hill. So it makes sense to do the fucking Resident Evil games. Which are more plentiful on PS1. Which is kind of my... Oh, god damn it. There's fuckers in this pit. No, they're above me. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I think... Dave is just kind of doing his own thing for now, but I, I I would love to just do like a co-op mod playthrough with my friends on stream or some shit at some point. I feel like that could be fun. There's apparently some really interesting like big fuck off like total conversion type mods out there that could help replayability. I heard something about like there's like a Diablo style loot mod. Which is neat. Okay. Oh, fuck me. I gotta commit. I have to commit to that. Yeah. Like, I'll definitely stream the DLC. I don't know if I would do, like, the multiplayer kind of stream stuff, like, before or after that, though. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I just kept walking. You know what I think the problem is here? I think the problem is... Last time, I went up that way. I, t I went up that way, and I think I'm trying to take the hard path, and I shouldn't do that. Yeah, if, if, to play Elden Ring co-op, you, you want the co-op mod, because I just fucking hit the wrong jump button. You definitely want the co-op mod for that. Just because, like, I don't know. Like, it's... <laughs> They kind of ruins a lot of the em emergent multiplayer experience that Souls games have in Elden Ring by like restricting invasions to only being against like players trying to do co-op because now like there's no way to opt in like like you still have a way to opt in to like being invaded but it's not like a passive risk reward thing like humanities and embers and shit were it's just kind of like uh, you know, uh. but like, it, but like the consequence of that is there aren't like just regular, like single player dudes getting invaded, just trying to play the game. A lot of the people getting invaded are going to be like co-op players because those are the only kinds of people who like by default will get invaded. And then that's like, if you try to play co-op, you're going to get hit. Like if you try to play fucking that if you try to like play with your friends you're gonna get fucked up by like smurfs like immediately that, that that was my experience like the one or two times i tried to play a bit of Elden ring with my friends in like uh the starting area oh okay i made it that time i think i'd have to commit to the jump there we go oh fuck off bubsy he backstepped. I hate that. Uh, careful, Bubsy. Oh, yeah. Skyrim multiplayer thing. I know there's that uh, New Vegas multiplayer mod. I'm in the Discord for that. I don't know if they have, like, private servers or whatever supported yet. I'm not, like, following that very closely. Oh my god. It's like an annoying jump. Not only is that jump annoying, but like you get sent to the pit where you have a chance of like losing a life. Because walking around in this game sucks and there's a fan and the fan can damage you if you're not paying attention. I love to wait for platforms. I think plat I feel like these platforms weren't this fast last time. I don't remember platforms being this bullshit last time. Okay. No, oh, fuck off. You just, I Oh, um, uh, Bubsy. Okay, you can save Bubsy from skidding, sk skidding, sliding. 
into the the eat shit. Anyway. So what's the Man, I I don't I really don't remember having to do this part. This was like at the end of the stream. I know there's like way more level than this though. That entire turn I wasn't holding forward. That's how that's how fucked Bubsy's momentum is. Will we get past the first jump this stream? Yeah, this is like I I like the platforming in this game. Uh, unironically, I actually nice shot. I actually like the platforming in this game. I think it's fun to navigate. I like how weirdly precise it is. I kind of like the angles and the ledge grabs and like the little air strafing and stuff you can do. Like I really like that. I really like that stuff. It's just then there's this. And this this sucks. Is there like a way forward this way? I can't make any of that, those jumps there is the problem. I it ate my jump input. You see, you see how I jumped at the end at when I when I landed on the ground? That was the jump input I put in to jump off the platform. That's why Buffy jumped there. What the fuck is down here? There's like an extra life. And a fan that takes you back up. Oh. oh, I can skip that platform. Okay. Right. I need to remember to do that. Maybe I could, like, glide here. No, wait, I held forward like a dumbass. The moment my brain starts pressing a different button, I, like, freak out. I wonder, I wonder if back hopping... Camera? Camera? You gonna... Camera? Oh, there it goes, okay. Oh, the camera doesn't want to center on Bubsy. Oh, okay. Thank you, Bubsy. <laughs> Thankfully, that is the most, most problematic thing I think Bubsy has said in this game. I don't think Bubsy has had a proper Gex moment yet. Oh fuck. Hey, how many lives do I have? Yikes. Yeah, Bubsy's too dumb to have malice, yeah. Oh, I forgot there's still an enemy here. Ugh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate that. I don't have enough room to test if that, uh, if the back hop is a momentum canceller. Oh, bah, bah, ja, bah. Okay, I made it. Oh, okay, well, that works. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get killed by this guy, though. Ah, uh, bubba. Ah, uh, maybe if I committed, I might have been able to jump on his head. I like how these guys have a pile of rocks, because their attack is different for some reason. Hey, wait a minute! I could have skipped that, that the entire time. That's why I didn't remember this segment, is because if you just go down the easy path, it takes you straight to the next part of the level, and you don't have to do the fast platform movement at all. Oh, uh, okay. Good start. That's a great start to the stream. Really fucking promising. Okay. Well, here's the the, 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 the titular horror. It is in the cage. God damn it. Okay, well, we don't have to do that part. Cage! And you gotta jump on him. And you can have a Bubsy moment. You can ride the spider. Which, I didn't, I, you know what? Free camming here is a pretty good idea. Let's see, take a look at the platforms. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay, there's our checkpoint. I didn't mean to. You notice how the platforms completely blocked my view of that enemy when I died? Wasn't that really funny? Anyway. I like how the the, 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 the the far away, like low poly versions of these enemies make it look like they're facing away from you, which makes it feel like you're not going to immediately aggro them the moment you get close. It's really funny. It's really funny how, how, how that works. Isn't that really funny? I think that's really funny. But they should really install CS Source. Oh, that's an invisibility power up right there. Uh, where am I going with that? Fuck this fucker. There's a freak here. Fuck this guy. Oh my god, there's two freaks and he still got me. What is that? What the fuck? Oh no, that's just... Okay, no, my chat's just weird and corrupted on OBS. That's fine. My embed is still freaking out. So, so that like weird like warbly text thing I mentioned where it's like it's like glittering and fucking there's weird pixels that are misplaced and stuff like that. That still happens. That, that never stopped happening. It's fucking weird. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, someone's gearing up to throw a rock at me somewhere. I heard it. One of the red guys. I really like the use of the rubber band stretching sound effects in this music. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my god, don't put me on a reverse conveyor belt. Absolute dick move there. Where am I going? So that's where we started is over there. I like how there's no arrows here. There's an extra life there, which makes me feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. I'm being real honest with you folks. Uh, bah, bah. Good work, bubs. Good work, bubs. Okay, we got a fucker. Fucker spotted. <laughs> I do want the extra life, though. Did I get an extra? Well, I lost a life. I immediately lost that life I got, so. Equivalent exchange and all that. You know, I have a sync tube set up. And I've been thinking about hosting like a movie night or something one day. I don't know. Whoa, fuck me, dude. Uh, I don't know what that would be. I have a few ideas. One of them is like, uh, one of them is, uh, I can't react. That's unreactable. You just have to know where that guy's gonna be. You can't react fast enough. And that's me with like optimal camera. The fucked up vertical camera is optimal. Yeah, we're going that way. Is there a shortcut here? Can I just like, can I jump from this conveyor belt to that floating platform? Do you think I can make that? Maybe. It's about three tiles wide. Maybe. It's for far enough down. Hey, Buffy, turn around. Turn around, Bubsy. Turn around. I need you to face the right way. Face the right way. Face the right. Ooh, fuck off. Fuck. There's a goopy guy. God damn. I hate these goopy guys. I want them to be dead. And I can't, like, gear up to shoot them because there's multiple of them here and they're just going to do that. No thanks. Sorry, Bubsy. I don't have the patience to watch all of your goddamn game over animations. Uh, okay. These platforms are on top of the peak. I wasn't able to see that, so I'm not going to be able to jump across to them to cheese it, I don't think. Maybe I could. Oh, fuck off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I like the platforming, but the problem is the enemies move and act in ways that you really can't react to. Like, the platforming is nice, slow, deliberate. Like, there's ways to speed up the platforming once you get good at it. Like, I like that stuff, but... And you can, God damn it! Let's see, I, I like I landed in front of that guy, and I just was going to take damage. There's nothing I could do. Now here, do you notice how I couldn't get away? If I went forward, I would have gotten away. He moves forward faster than he moves to the side while he's jumping. But well, you know. 
Well, you know. Anyway, God fucking help me, this thing. Alright, gamers. Hooray, watch out for the goopy guy. Oh, fuck. How did I manage to do that? <gasps> Bubsy Bubsy. Mapuke donated $15. Bubsy Bubsy I mean, if Bubsy, we're in negative Bubsy, days Bubsy, left Bubsy, on that goal, Bubsy, we really Bubsy. should be receiving negative dollars, shouldn't we? I think that'd be better. Oh, fuck. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you, Mockluck, very much for the 15 Bubsy Bucks. God help me. Unfortunately, there's only Bubsy here. This fuck is dead. Oh, I'm dead. I have to. Wait, I don't have to kill him because this platform is like, easy now. I know it. I know it to be true. Okay. I meant to fucking hold square. I was holding square. Why didn't I pick that up? God damn. It. No, that just means I I got it. That just means I have to take money out of my wallet and burn it. It's like getting a Rupor in, in Zelda instead of a Rupee. It's just it's just negative money that just like makes other money go away. It's weird. Fucker. Fucker spotted. Fucker spotted. Fucker spotted. Evasive maneuvers. Ooh, that fucker. But if you evade too much, you're gonna go into the drink. You don't want that. I'm gonna get hit anyway. Yep. Good work, Pally. How the this game? This game, this game and its hitboxes, huh? This game and its fucking hitboxes. Rapella! Yippee! Gamers. Ba, 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 ba. All right, you see this fucking gamer over here? Fuck this gamer. We're going this way. This is the way you're supposed to go. I cannot believe the arrow points you towards the harder route. Can you fucking believe the arrow points you towards the harder route? With no reward? That's insane. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Hey! Yeah, I appreciate I can sort of provide that kind of thing for you. I find myself watching other streamers in much the same way. <laughs> Although, sometimes when those problems involve being overstimulated, watching other people stream is kind of the uh, inverse of what I need. <laughs> but hey, that's what you get. I'm gonna fucking. Woo! I got him. Anyway, this fucker's gonna. He threw a rock at me, I think. I had to dodge. I had to be a pro gamer. Look at that. You can get good at Bubsy. I am the proof. All right, I'm going to use this invisibility to kill these fuckers. I miss. I'm going to die. Okay. I missed. Fuck, I missed. I missed. And I got hit. Fuck me, dude. Yeah, it's 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 really hard for me as a streamer to um kinda like put ugh, to uh kinda take myself out of my own streams and kinda try to consider the quality of like what I do and the value of the things I produce, that kind of thing. And uh I definitely, I've talked about, what even hit me? A goopy guy hit me, apparently. I must have landed on him, I didn't see him. Uh, I saw there was one in front of me and there's one behind me, but I guess they were closer than I thought. Um, I got goopied. Goopy Gus got me. Goopy Good. Jump, because there's a goopy Gus. I never want to learn that enemy's real name. Ah, there's another one. Fucker. And uh, I definitely hit these spots where, like I've talked about in the past, I'm sure, where I kind of like don't feel a lot of confidence in the general quality of my streams and the output and blah, 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 that kind of shit.
Okay, you can backpedal pretty safely. That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I understand that's like, you know, kind of how like literally everybody is about <laughs> everything everyone has ever done. They're always fucking shit. Okay, at least that's not like my last hit or anything. But I, like, like I see, fuck that. It's really hard not to like compare yourself to others. You know how that is. I'm usually pretty good at that. I'm usually pretty good at being nice and self-centered and not giving a shit about anybody else but myself in the positive way, right? Smile. Um, but you know, every now and then I'm like, you know what? I appreciate this work that like these other people are doing that is like in my field and I appreciate that work so much that I'm like I can't help but kind of compare it to my own stuff all right we gotta get to the bug the bug has been released we have to mount the bug it is bug time it, a bug moment no Bubsy no Bubsy Bubsy no Bubsy it is time for bug can I just walk onto it no you have to jump onto it oh my god Bubsy 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 it's gonna break its cycle I don't know if it's waiting for us or not I think it is waiting for us actually oh I jumped off Oh, I jumped off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Well. There goes the bug. The bug is gone. We have to... Oh, no, it came back. Okay. It is, it is time for bug. Can I dab on the bug? I can dab on the bug. Fantastic. Yeah. Like, I, I see some people and I'm like, man, how the fuck can motherfuckers be, like, so energetic and entertaining, like, literally all the time? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck are some people on? It's crazy. Okay, that worked. And, like, uh, it's never good to compare yourself to other people like that. You know? Can I get this guy? Probably not. Probably not. Fuck. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Move. Shit. Right, I just gotta keep moving. Fast. Oh, hey, checkpoint. That's probably a good thing. I don't know. Oh, wait, are the mosquitoes on this level? No, but that thing is. The fucking target things. I haven't, like, in interacted with those enough to know what they actually do. Okay, well, where the fuck am I? I'm in, like, orange zone? What the fuck is this? Where the... What? Where am I? And what is going on? Okay, platform. We have a moment of solace. <gasps> hey, Zana! Thanks for raiding. How was your stream? Did you break any hearts? Oh, it might take them a second to actually be able to watch the stream. I don't know if they have it open. You unbroke all the hearts. Hell yeah. Uh, where am I going? The arrow says that way. Right? And then... The... Uh, why is any of this here? What is the point of this? If the, uh, here, whatever, YOLO. Uh, this thing, I don't know how that this guy works, but I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. I haven't figured out how that guy works, but he doesn't seem to goopy go. Goopy go, goopy go. Ah. Oh, and it killed the atom, and it killed the atom. This fucking guy, Bubsy life. You know, I guess Bomb did make his mom did make Bubsy. Thank you, Bubsy. That was very insightful. Where the okay? I don't know where the fuck I'm going anymore. Uh, because the arrows have forsaken me. Oh, well, there's an Elden Ring thing, but there's also a checkpoint. Okay, this guy has to die first. Well, first. The checkpoint was right there.
The checkpoint was right there, and I died. Where am I? Where am I? Oh no. This, there's not even like obstacles between this checkpoint and that checkpoint. It's just like time. It's time and bullshit. Oh no. Oh no. Where? Oh, I got this way. Can I get that? Ah! I missed the power up and I took damage. I love how this is one of the- I love how this is like one of those games that doesn't have respawning one-ups. It's really cool and good. Okay, well that's how that enemy hurts you, I guess. It's like a fucking arch file. A little- Well, it's not a game over yet. Yeah, there was a goopy guy there. You didn't see him? You didn't see him? He was there. Look, see that guy? Do you like how they, they on purpose, they blend into the environment? I'm going the wrong way, I think. Where am I going? I hate this thing. So they put two enemies around that corner, that blind turn right there. There's two enemies there. One of them hit me and my iframes are going to tank the other hit. Or not, or I or I walk into some oh no. Oh. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh. I'm going the wrong fucking way. That arrow was pointing the other direction. I'm lost. I got lost. I'm gonna get shot. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, there's orange. I see orange. Okay, hang right. Ignore these fools. Just keep going. Do your evasive side hops. Get to purple. Don't steer near. Steer away. Steer away from those guys. There's a goopy guy around the fucking blind corner. There always is a goopy guy around the blind corners. There's a fan there, and there's gonna be a goopy guy like here. There's a checkpoint up here, but it. Alright, okay. I, I, this is where I came from. Really? There's a switch. Where I. Back where I came from. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for that, I appreciate that. And they put a checkpoint here, forcing you to backtrack if you hit the checkpoint before you know you have to go back. I'm, I'm on zero lives though, so it doesn't matter. And now I have to backtrack. You literally have to backtrack. You literally have to backtrack. That's terrible, that's terrible, okay? If you hit that checkpoint, you're a fool. And I'm not a fool, because I got a game over. Now I gotta do the rest of that beginning part again. <laughs> All right, baby, let's go. But I will not be deterred because I am an enlightened Bubsy gamer. The Woollyville horror is the fact that the map doesn't tell you where you're supposed to go until you've already passed where you're supposed to go immediately. Notice how that guy's at the start of the level around a blind corner. Really cool, really cool, really cool. Hey, check this out. Perfect. Check this out. Perfect. Okay, now you gotta watch out because there's a goopy boy like right here. Getting ready to ice my shit. There he is. See, there he is. So the problem is, if you get into side hops, uh, side hops aren't fast enough to get away from the goopy guy in time. He will just... So that guy saw me, and he had enough time to wind up an attack before I was able to dodge. And, uh... Yeah. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Woohoo! Anyway, here's this guy. Okay, well now we know the short way of doing this. And the not painful, awful way of doing this is just to go this way. You do have to interact with an enemy, but it's okay, because if you hold square, you'll still take damage. Yo, wait, I, I freak. Father, why do the atoms bounce sometimes? And sometimes 
the atoms do not. Probably has something to do with angled walls. Why am I even approaching that guy? Why would I? Why did I even approach that guy? I just need to jump over the wall next to him. I don't actually need to interact with him at all. Also, shoutouts to game like losing a life, not resetting the cycles. That's really cool. Love that. Because uh, losing a life doesn't reset anything about the level unless you game over, which is nice because all the enemies stay dead. Like that's that. Like that's good, right? Oh right, I forgot to hit this point. Whoops. Uh so you see there's an extra life down there, but there's also a goopy guy. Which means you're gonna lose that life. <laughs> Alright, one of the drawbacks to having the tasty tasty strafe jumps, you can't rotate in the air at all. You don't really have that option. It's, it's very much an all or nothing. You, you, the, the only way you can change your forward direction is uh, by stopping on the ground. I mean, you can turn while you're moving, but your turn radius is really bad. And if you, and if you run for that long, you're gonna build up enough momentum that you can't stop yourself. And then you're gonna, with the combine, combine with the nasty turn radius, you're just gonna slide off into game over water. I'm really not sure how that one got me. I love how it points me in the wrong direction and I gotta turn all the way around when you respawn at that checkpoint. It's like whatever the default direction is, is like... I didn't have enough to... That guy literally hit me twice. Thank God for the fucking iframe. Limbs. Watch out for that guy on the left. All right, we're gaming. Now for this bit, I hate th this... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, there we go. Is there a way to skip anything here? What do we got? What do we got going on? What are these platforms? You see these platforms? Oh, it's a secret to the rockets, I see. What's up with these platforms? I'm almost kind of curious. Can I make that jump? No. Maybe I can glide that jump. I don't try to glide too much because the glide doesn't actually go very far. Like your regular jump has like a better arc overall. I didn't hold forward when I... Careful, Bubsy, careful. Getting sloppy. Let me actually try. No, that's just gonna get me killed. Okay. I'm not really sure what all, what all that is about. Cause like I'm looking for any way to get to that switch faster. Cause you have to take this whole route and it sucks. This whole route uh, is bad. And you have to jump on this conveyor belt at an angle, which means you take this spot at an angle where you have to walk up the conveyor belt, which is easier to do if you're, you know, aligned with it, right? But you're not going to be aligned with it because you don't have any time to turn yourself around when you land on the other conveyor belt. Is like yeah, in broad areas you can turn while you're moving because you're on the ground. But in the in these platforming segments, you might as well have to completely stop. <laughs> so uh, I walked off the ledge and my jump input didn't go through, so I instantly game overed. Because this game does that to you. It doesn't have fall damage, but it will instantly kill you if it wants to, if you miss a platform for some reason. Only sometimes. Sometimes it kills you. Sometimes it doesn't. It likes to mix it up. It's 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 fun. First come, first serve. I really appreciate that the power-ups also don't respawn. It's great. It's a really good feeling. Alright, here we go. Uh, the visibility is really just like this 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 part sucks, so here's a power-up that lets you not deal with it. Anyway, you only get to do that once. After that, you have to deal with it. And it's like, uh, it's bad. Okay. I'm definitely in the groove again. 
at least to some extent. It's just that the level we came back to here is one of the last few levels, and this is the part where the game has gotten full tilt like bullshit. Bullshit in like annoying ways, not necessarily like, you know. God, the hitboxes are so bad. Like if I'm descending at all, I should, I should damage those guys. Like it shouldn't be like a concern. Okay, there's the switch. Is there a way to cheese this? Like, is there a shortcut here? I don't know how you get up there. I don't know how you get the rockets on this level. I haven't seen any way to get them so far. Okay, where's the cage? It's down here. Oh, there's a goofy guy still. And this guy's annoying to mount because the fucking platform's here. <laughs> So you have to, like, wait at the cage spot. I jumped off of it. Well, now I gotta wait. Is it gonna kill me if I stand here? I don't want to find out. Like, they put the thing under the fucking platform just to be annoying. It's such a bad idea. Wish I could dab faster. This is about as fast as it goes. How many lives do I have? <coughs> Sorry, my throat. I just felt my soul leave my body there. All right, checkpoints are pointless. I'm, I already, I just took a hit. No, I didn't. I just took a hit. No, I didn't. I just took a hit. No, I didn't. Why am I backstepping? That's actually really good. Holy shit. That's actually some movement tech right there. Backstepping to decrease my turn radius at the cost of losing speed. Mm, careful, 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 careful. Okay, the backstepping is helping. I'm not doing it on purpose though. Oh, look at this. Look at, I'm schmoovin'. Look at me schmoo. This is some, okay, wait, we have to be here though. But first, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? We gotta get rid of these enemies. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. And then this guy. Oh, why aren't you dead? Can I even kill you? That guy's fucking invincible. What the fuck? That's bull. Why is that guy? Okay, no, the target is the weak spot. Okay. That's weird. The, the actual, like, sniper isn't the enemy. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I think if you collect enough atoms, you get an extra life, because I swear I heard an extra life sound once. I was picking these up, but I don't think that added up in the moment that I saw that happen. So now we know we actually have to do this, because there's a switch at the end of this platforming segment. It's just that the... The draw distance doesn't let me see it. It's literally, like, right over there. It's right there, but the draw distance doesn't let you see it while you're actually on most of these platforms. Which is pretty, uh criminal. Yo, can I uh, jump out? Dead ass, I can. There you go, that's a skip. That's a shortcut right there. Watch out for this fucking asshole. Jump his shot. Move in with the square. Shoot a beam. Hey, the gun. That's the gun. I don't want to get that. That doesn't seem like it's worth it. The gun's a cool idea, but it shoots an atom, and the atoms can just kill you, so I'm not gonna bother. I also have zero lives, so I'm not risking anything else. Well, that's one way. That's a rocket right there. Right here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if it asks anything else of me. This is a teleporter. This is probably going to be a bad idea. But I am kind of curious. Okay, it takes me to this interstitial spot. And then this could be a shortcut. This could unlock a shortcut. And now I'm in this middle of nowhere spot, which is not useful at all. This is that in the, yeah, this is where that life is. But there's a life up there? Yeah, there's a life up there. Okay, and I'm, uh, there's the rocket again. This is where I started. I went through that 
forward. Well, let's go backwards. Oh my god, it's pick a path. It's fucking pick a path. All right, we'll go right. All right, that's the wrong one because it sent us backwards. Okay, so it's backwards and then left. It's backwards. Left. Is it? Or maybe it's not. This takes me back to the beginning of the level, though. If you want, this is literally the beginning of the level. Is it not backwards left? No, it is. It just teases you for... <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. You are... You are fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god. It just walks you off of the... Alright. Great. I'm really glad Bubsy doesn't stop at the edge of platforms. He just kind of instantly dies. He just has a heart attack and dies the moment his feet aren't touching the ground. Okay. Really fun that I did it on my last life, too. Huh? All right, well, uh, now we know what that does. We're not going for rockets, so it's fine. But I, if, if I ever want to do that, I guess I know how to do that. It's important to check those. Here comes the invisible guy. It's important to check those paths because you never know when they might reveal a shortcut. So rocket rocket routes are good. Generally speaking, I need to turn around. I'm going to get hit, though. There we go. You can actually you can turn while. Why didn't I, I jumped? I, did, I jumped like and I hit the, the slope and then it. Fuck, consistently, every time I approach this. That happens. Love it here, dude, I swear. Budsy, thank you. Maybe I should go for the extra life. It's a bit of a bad idea. Because if I shoot an atom in here, I'm gonna die. Ah! Also this guy, yeah, this guy's here. You see, let's go. Okay, I did it. I managed not to cause a chain reaction that killed me. And I got an extra life. Uh, I lost a hit, though. So, whatever. I broke even. I don't know why I'm picking these up. Part of me is holding out hope for a bonus life. Is this a shortcut to anywhere? It's shortcut to the end of the level again. So you can see the platform we were on is right there. That takes you to the rocket. That's like one of the interstitial platforms. Hey, buddy. That guy just didn't shoot for some reason. I cannot believe how bad the glide is. Look, the glide. The glide is like the least viable option in the entire movement kit. I don't know why. Like you only use it for propellers and like nothing else. It's kind of wacky. I don't know why they chose to make it like that. They made it bad on purpose. Anyway, ignore this fucking clown. I landed on the wrong side of the slope. Is there an invisible guy here? I don't remember. Yeah, he's right here. I got hit. No, I didn't. All right, remember to glide. Okay. I 
Fuck. Love it here. And the invisible guy's gonna get a hit on me. He's gonna get a hit on me, yeah. I couldn't avoid that. I didn't have the, the space to get out of his way. And if you run out of atoms, uh, you can't kill them. As far as I know, you, ju you just can't. Isn't that grand? Isn't that grand? I love that. It's so good. Cage. Sure do love wasting at the extra life I got. She'd love being in Bubsy. It's so good. It's my favorite game. There's probably like a spicy skip you can do off of one of these bugs while they're in transit. Okay, I'm gonna be bold and try not to. Gravy. Watch out for the blind corners. There's a guy. They put a guy in the blind corner. Do you see that guy? There he is. That's the blind corner guy. He's at his state. He every day he shows up for work. On his job description says you're the guy. You're the blind corner guy. You stand at the blind corner. I, I, is, is not that hard to understand. You just do that. That's that's what you do. You stand at the blind corner. You just do it. It's very simple. You're the blind corner guy. And you love your job. You have a wife and three kids. You know, you, you, you got mouths to feed at home. So just, just like, be the... I'm not going for that, because I'm going to lose a life getting it. Just be the fucking blind corner guy. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love you. You're, you know, you're going to be... I caramba. You're going to be a productive member of society, you know, standing at the blind corner. And uh, I, I really, I really think it's your calling. I think it fits you. I think it fits you. you, you I think, I think it's really good. You know. All right, we made it to the second switch with minimal casualties. How many lives we got? Let's wait ten minutes. There it is. Watch out for the invisible guy. He's down here. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't stop moving forward or else you get hit. Watch out for the edge grab. I got the edge grab. Try not to double input the jump after you get it, because then it'll do its cycle and you gotta wait for it to respawn. Thankfully, I avoided making that preposterous blunder. I like the random geometry. I think that looks nice. All right, don't get too excited and jump prematurely. Watch out for the buggy. I got him. I, somehow I got him. I fucking reacted that. I actually reacted an enemy for once. Holy shit. Did you see that shit? Anyway, there's a guy here too. Can you see me? I actually don't know what causes them to see you. I missed. Now I'm going to get hit. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because I say I won't. I got hit. I tried to slow down so I wouldn't slide into the water. And I got hit. There's a gun. There's the gun up there. You see that? Don't fall into the... There you go. There's a sniper and a guy. They got both flavors of this fucker. Blind corner, invisible guy. And there goes Bubsy. Okay. Turn around. Watch out for this fucker. Watch out for this guy. I don't know how you're supposed to kill the sniper normally apparently i just did i think i think that killed him i tried to back up into that enemy and i failed completely because the it's really precise okay that's the up up okay that's not Good. Good. All right, the shortcut's right there. You just have to jump from that platform, or is it this one? 
for this one. <laughs> Glide does not work there. Yeah, it's here. You jump from here. I'm surprised with how easy that one works. How much fucking... Uh, if I fall here, I die to the guy. Is there an invisible guy here? There totally is. Yeah, he's literally right there. He's like tracked onto me and rubbing his face against the wall. Fucking licking his chops like a hungry bulldog. I got shot out of the air. That's awesome. How much vertical tracking does that guy have? I hope I never find out. Touch that. The propeller has been activated. Some right somewhere really far away that we don't know about yet. But thankfully, Bubsy, like Bubsy, just like Agent 47, has psychic powers and has already played the level 500 times, so he knows where everything is. He's in a Groundhog Day scenario. It's pretty cool. Watch out for these assholes. Watch out for this asshole. I somehow lost that. I don't know how you're supposed to deal with the snipers. All right, watch out, this invisible guy. There's a propeller. Is this the propeller I activated? I think it is. Hey, can I go up, please? All right. Is there an enemy immediately behind me? Sort of. <laughs> fuck. Where am I going? Where the fuck am I going? Huh? This is the corner with the sniper and the line of dudes. And this is the... Huh? I can't get up there. I can't go over there. I can't do anything over there. That's okay. I don't know. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Let's watch this. Show me where the switch is, baby. Wow. I think it's running out of lower frame rate because I'm gliding. Hey, wait a minute. Is that... Not the switch I hit? I missed. Is that not the switch I hit? It's easier to hit them when they're tracking you. Because they move straight. They move in a straight line towards you. So you don't have to worry about aiming. You just have to align it properly. Uh, I don't think that's the same switch I, I hit. I think there's a switch that... No, wait, no. No, this propeller is just really tall. Okay, no, the propeller is just really fucking tall, and it's not... Great, okay. Great. Yeah, I Divine Cybermancy is something I've always been wanting to play at some point. Can I just ignore this guy? No. No. No, don't ignore that guy. Okay, I have to kill the little red dude that's uh, throwing rocks at me. Watch out for the invisible guy. He'll end your day. Oh, wow. How did I get that kill? <laughs> I'm going to take the fucking L here, man. All right. Step one, kill this asshole. Somehow, fuck. fuck, dude. Okay, I got him. I got him. So I'm guessing we want to hit that switch and get over there. I don't really know what the switch does. Okay, pro tip: don't throw any of these atoms. It's, it's a fucking trap. The last atom, though, totally. First of all, wait for him to throw. Or not? Oh, now he's gonna. Okay, he didn't get a he didn't get a shot off. How many lives do I have? Zero. One. Okay. Actually, have a life. Ah! You think I wouldn't, considering I'm playing Budsy Smile? Got him. Bubsy Sniper Gaming. Uh, what the? Right. This area is way easier to maneuver for the most part. 
but also like what is going on? Like, what is the switch? Cage. Oh, I unlocked a cage somewhere. Oh, that cage. Can I access that? This area looks like it's blocked off. Oh my god, this is another instance of if I didn't hit this switch, I would have to backtrack and do the whole section over again. That's bullshit. <laughs> Come on, you can't do that. At least that one was like in the way. The the one bef the switch before that one sucks though. I fell on the wrong side of the slope. I know there's an invisible guy around here. I don't trust like that. Why didn't I, what the fuck just happened there? I've never seen the game do what it just did right there. The camera just like stopped and then Buddy was floating. I don't know what that was. I don't know what input I did to do that. It felt like Bubsy had like a flat tire. That was weird. Like, yeah, this game sucks, but it's consistent, right? So whenever something unexpected happens, it's like upsetting. Because I'm like, wait a minute, but this game is consistent. What? No. Why did it act like that that time? That's bizarre. Okay. Conveyor belt spot. Thankfully, it's not over any game over locations, so we should be okay. Also, I just have to side hop into here. That's all that actually matters. Is there a guy here to kill me? There literally is a guy here to kill me. Isn't that really cool? Isn't that so cool? I just love guy that's here to kill me. That's awesome. Hey, what can I do with this? What is this for? Oh, I smell a secret. Can you, you can't fucking glide to that. No way. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, look at how fucking limp the glide is. Right, hit me up, hit me up with that shit before I get eaten. There we go. The bug probably takes you over there. Oh no, don't hit me with the Simon Says platforms, dude. Okay, you can dismount the bug to hit that. I don't trust like that though, but knowing this level, it's probably gonna require it. Also the let, look at the switch. It's over game over water. That's evil. I'm not touching that. That's like literally there to give you game over. That's probably, that's probably one of the rockets though. And if it's required, I'm gonna scream and cry. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's the end of the level. I actually never thought I'd see it. I forgot what it looked like. All right, that was uh, 90 minutes, not including the last like hour of uh, the seven and a half hour stream, which was this level. Oh my God. Didn't we already see this animation? This, they're already reusing these, come on. Oh, come, I, th they should at least be unique one. Like, it's gotta be like plot related, right? Whatever. Ugh. Ran out of ideas and they wanted a TV show. I love the one frame of the rocket. That's really good. Hey, remember what the fucking main menu looked like? Do you like how long it took for it to pull the menu up after I hit the save button? Uh, yeah, memory card. Save successful. God fucking damn it, dude. One rocket, <laughs> one rocket, baby. It's so well. There's four levels left. Okay, so there's like an evil Bubsy. You see that? You see this? You see the penultimate level there? I saw that model on the BG resource and I'm like, that looks custom. There's no way that's actually in the game. Cause that that the textures and the the ass the the textures for that fucking punished Bubsy, yeah. That one came with the regular Bubsy in BG Resource, and I was like, this looks custom. I don't believe that this is real. Cause like people upload custom stuff on BG Resource sometimes, but like it wasn't labeled as custom. Uh, and yet, well, there it is.
I don't know what that's got. I, it, there are rockets on that level, which makes me think it's not a boss fight. So I, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what's up with that. Unless it's a nice T pose. Yo, trains, trains on this level, trains on this level. What the fuck? Oh no, it's just the fucking these things. Like, oh, fuck off! What a mean way to start the level. Come on. What a mean, mean way to start the level. Don't do that. Oh my god, new music, new backdrop, new scenery for the first time in fucking how long? Hell yeah, I'm into that. Oh, they're on a cycle now? Like a short cycle, okay. I guess that's what makes them trains instead of rockets. Oh great, it's this guy, he's here, look at him. He's dead now. Okay, so these guys, you have to hit their target. You gotta hit the target if you want to kill them. Like that. This is good me I like this music. This is some good penis music. Top tier penis music. Good work, Bubsy. It kills you. It's a short ride, and then it kills you. Just like life. Does this just give me atoms? That'd be very funny. No, no, you got him. You got it. You got an exchange. <laughs> Thank you, Pepsi. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, no, this one, this is the, that hitbox extends so far down. I was touching the ground and this guy hit me. That's horse shit. Oh, oh. Yo, can I clear that? I can clear that gap. Where am I? Where the fuck am I? I I'm where I'm supposed to be according to the arrows. These guys are really hard to see on this background. Whatever, I'm, I'm free of them. Uh, okay, there's a checkpoint. This game has been giving final chapter vibes for fucking the past 10 chapters. Oh my God, they stand still when they're targeting you too. Oh, I walked into that. Okay, I don't know what I could have done once I saw it coming, but I guess I should have predicted that it would have happened. Or I don't know where I'm going, but I'm invisible getting there. Uh, I'm going the right way, I'm going the right way. The fucking mosquitoes on this level. Oh! The mosquitoes are on this level. Okay, take a left. All right, this is one of those sprawling levels. All right, that's what we're doing. A left. Okay, well, there's another arrow. These fucking mosquitoes are miserable. All right, let's go up so we don't get bit by this asshole down there. We do have to deal with this asshole. All right, well, the colors got awful. I love this game. I'm out of lives. Uh, where am I going? Okay. This way. Watch out for the mans. He's gonna get me, I can't avoid him. Yo, is that the end of the level up there? I think I just saw it, that's the end of the level up there. See that? On that mountain with the red shit. That's the end of the level, I just saw it. It's not loaded right now, but it's up there. Okay, so we know the, we know where it is. We just know how to get to it. And the problem is, because of the way the rockets work, it could literally be anywhere. The actual exit to the level could be anywhere. Okay. I'm just trying to- ah, oh, fuck. I walked into more guys. If I stand still, I get hit. I don't think I want to be in here, but I'll take it. Where are we going? We're going- oh! There was a checkpoint there. That is so disorienting. 
Like, how am I supposed to know where to jump here? Like, to the side? Okay. Well, I'm gonna die soon. But, what do you want to show me, boss? Up on Orange Mountain, there's a rocket. Wow! Thanks, Dad. Cool, good to know there's a rocket up there. This, this level's fucking sick and twisted. All right, that's where I died before, is over here. God fuck. God fucking, this is the guy who killed me. Got him. Uh, I hear a mosquito, which worries me. Those enemies are like, literally the worst one. There's a goopy guy. Never mind, the goopy guy sucks too, but at least the goopy guy I can like handle. I know how to deal with the goopy guy when he shows up. The other dudes, not so much. Oh, you know, I haven't been looking for secret walls. That's probably where some of the rockets are. That's where they were hiding a lot of them in some of the other levels. They usually telegraph the secrets pretty well, but I have not been looking for them. There's one of those fucking clam things over there, you see that? I haven't seen one of those in ages. All right, is there a goopy guy up here? Where'd he go? He's in the corner. I see a rocket and a respawn point. Can I jump up here? Maybe. Maybe if I tried hard enough. Hmm, not really. I'm gonna die because I can't fucking see where the goopy guy is because the camera's panned to the left. This guy's gonna get my ass. That guy jump up here so the goopy guy doesn't get me. There's a sniper and a checkpoint. The checkpoint doesn't matter because I'm out of lives, right? Yeah. And I'm on my last hit. So. This is fucking chaotic, all right. Arrow tells me to go this way. I'll go this way. Just fucking bolt. Uh, bolt, but don't run too close to enemies or else they'll kill- Oh, the arrow's telling me to go the other way, all right. What the fuck is that? Oh, is that a screen nuke? Okay. That was a screen nuke. Cool, like, I guess. Now I'm going- I guess there's multiple- Well, no shit, there's multiple ways to go to get here, but... Um... Oh shit, they're taking pot shots at me still. This looks like a direction to be going. I think? Uh... Uh... Yeah, um... That guy shooting me. This map is definitely better than the last one. This is one of those open world type maps. Big open- I died. It's one, it's one of the more open levels. Which means, like, there's less precision platforming all over the place, and you can get from, like, one spot to the other pretty quickly if you know where you're going. Because it's banking on you getting lost. It's banking on you getting lost instead of dying on the same jump a million times. That's, like, that, 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 that's where it places its bets. For extending the playtime. Yo, Sangria. Here's the funny noise. You gonna play the noise? Oh, it did play the noise. I just didn't hear it. But hey, thanks for the raid. You guys are playing the, the that one thing I don't know anything about other than... You saw that hitbox, right? You saw that, right? You saw that hitbox? That fucking hitbox. Anyway, hi, how was your stream? Hello. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? It's Bubsy part two. I'm doing the last five. I'm on the, the last five levels. We did one of five. Uh, we it, It's been 90 minutes and we've beaten one level. 
So that's that's cool. We just got to this one. Uh, and this one sucks. But it's not as bad as the last one so far. It just has annoying enemy... Well, I was gonna say, it just has annoying enemy placements, but literally every level has annoying enemy placements. That's kind of this game's MO. That and, um, that. You see. Now, we have negative about nine hours left to hit our Bubsy Buck school. <laughs> Did you fucking see what just happened to me? Did you see what just happened to me? Did you see that? Did you see that? Anyway. Also, yeah, remember to follow me on Twitter, haha. Huh? Updates. Also, there's a Discord. Hooray! Yeah, they put enemies at the, at the start there to be mean on purpose. It's great. I love it. I should probably check where that... Oh, no, that rocket goes to start. I don't care where that rocket goes. Also, if you don't jump off this rocket, you die. Okay, so this mother... So this guy's hitbox extends to the ground, so you have to kill him. Or else to take hit. And now I want to jump off this edge here to take... I can't slow down because I'm going to get... That's going to happen to me. If you ever slow down in Bubsy, you die. Don't slow down. The problem is when you go fast, the game is hard to control. So, have fun. And I'm good at this game, I think. Am I good at this game? I'm probably good at this game. I don't know. I can pull. I was schmoovin' last level. Like, there was a spot. We got to a spot in, uh, fucking Woollyville Horror. We got to a. Why am I not at full speed? Why was I not at full speed? Why was I not moving at full speed? I had no speed. I should have been able to clear that jump, but I didn't. Did I hit back and not realize it? I hit the brake. I must have. You have no iframes when you, uh, respawn, by the way. Yeah, yeah, there was there was a spot like right before we beat Bullyville Horror where I fucking schmooved so hard and it was pretty good, I gotta say. Like when you get good at Bubsy, that you hit you have those flow state moments where man, Nightbot knows we got a raid and it's fucking advertising its heart out. You hit these kind of like flow state spots where You hit these like flow state spots. This guy's making it hard to make this jump and I have to kill him. It's also in the air, so I don't even know how you fucking time it. All right, that works. Uh, I'm gonna die again. No, I didn't, okay. All right, now I gotta ignore this entire platform and go here. There we go. Uh, we have no lives, right? Of course we don't, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna bother with the fucking sh Well, that solves that. It's okay, we didn't hit any checkpoints yet. This is actually a good thing. Yeah, Woollyville Horror is a crime against humanity, I gotta say. Uh, this level, we'll see about it. I, I I have actually seen the exit to this level within the first, like, five minutes. We haven't seen it in a bit, but I do know where the exit is, generally speaking. So, this level's not, like, evil yet. But we do have to wait on these little fucking cycles all the time, and that kind of sucks. Alright, that guy's dead, and did not take a hit. Off of me. This fucker, though, it led the shot. It led its shot. Did you see that? Oh my god. All right. Get him. There we go. Okay. It, it sucks a big shit sometimes, I tell you. What? By the way, you want a Bubsy Pro tip? Uh, don't. Bubsy 3D Pro tip. Don't use the glide for distance ever. Literally ever. You only use the glide on propeller spots. If you try to use the glide for distance, you're just going to die. Because the glide is the objectively objectively inferior jump type in all ways, except for the... Bes I hit the checkpoint, though. I did hit the checkpoint before I died. I may have lost a life, but I did hit the checkpoint. Uh, yeah, you, you only ever want to use the glide in the designated gliding zones where it gives you air. 
Otherwise, you will never use the glide. Anyway. Also, the mosquitoes are bad. Do not engage. Stay as far away from mosquitoes as you possibly can. They will kill you, and you cannot stop them from killing you. I'm moving diagonally. This is how you move diagonally, okay? It's okay. It's, I'm a professional at this. So we actually walked past the end of the level. It was on top of the mountain after that like little segment I kept getting stuck on. So we got an arrow that's pointing us this way. And now we're at the open part of the level. Uh, that's kill area. Don't touch that blue stuff, but you can touch the other stuff. It's fine. Um, and also watch out because there's enemies that and they're the same color as the floor and it's on purpose. And it's really cool, and I like it. There's a checkpoint up here. I want to hit it. Yeah, here's a checkpoint. This shows you where a rocket is, but we're not doing that. I don't care. Like the in 2D Bubsy. Yeah, sure. Glide. It's cool, right? Uh, 3D Bubsy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's another checkpoint up there. Uh, so there's an invisible guy. There's a woolly there. And then there's a platform to the right around the bend here. Uh, and that's where I'm trying to go. And I'm going to double back after I go up. And I'm going to try to uh, get up that checkpoint. There we go. Yeah. Uh, no one has aim on me here. Except for the snipe. No. Get me the... Don't you fucking beep beep at me, you little bitch. Watch out for the sniper. It's basically an arch file. Uh, if its target hits you, it's gonna hurt. There's a bully aiming at me. Right, how many lives do I have? Let me guess, zero? Two, okay, we're very, we're actually pretty well off right now. This is the best we've done so far. This is the furthest I've made it is like this big fucking mountaintop area, this plateau. I don't know how to deal with the clams. They show up very infrequently and I never interact with them. Uh, the arrow says this way, so I'm gonna go this way and hit up this guy. Because this guy looks like he's going somewhere. No, please no, with the fucking mosquitoes. Okay, it's gonna hit that and it's gonna die. Okay, I was not able to catch that. Now we're in a new location. I'm gonna get on top of a platform so I don't get bit by- Oh, there's a respawn point there. I gotta get to the checkpoint, hit the checkpoint, hit the checkpoint. Back, 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 back. You never know. Here's the thing. Bubsy, when you're playing Bubsy, when you're playing Bubsy, you are always in a state of heightened panic and awareness because as Bubsy, you have blinders on your eye. You see you're a prey animal, okay? You're a prey animal. You can't see where anything is. You're, you're a little shit ass. You're a little shit ass. You're a prey animal, but you got predator eyes. You can't see shit. It sucks, all right? There's dudes. They're behind you. They're everywhere. You can hear them, but you can't hear where they are. You just know that they're somewhere. And if you ever stop moving, even for a second, if you ever try to even pretend to feel even the slightest bit comfortable. You will die, you will die, you will die. This is Bubsy 3D. You notice how there's no enemies here and yet I was panicking to get to the checkpoint as fast as I possibly could? It's because I have no way of knowing there's no enemies here until I take the time to observe the location. However, in order to take the time to observe the location, I must stop moving. And if I stop moving, if there is an enemy, the enemy will get me and I will die. And I cannot let that happen. That said, learning the level does alleviate this effect to some extent. I really, I don't think, I have we gotten 100 atoms before? I don't think, what, why? What are these here for? Nice, nice platforms, buddy. Like, we're here to jump onto that car, right? But like, why? Also, there's like a rocket frozen in ice or some shit. I love platforms. What helpful level designers? I missed. Thankfully, I'm a Bubsy expert, and I know how to get up this without actually pressing forward. I don't think we actually heard Bubsy say the aren't level designers brilliant line in the tutorial. It only plays in the tutorial. Bubsy has a lot of uh, specific voice lines for the tutorial. I accidentally 
Reoriented. I don't know where we're going, but I just fell out. I am on a platform now. That's the end of the level. Okay, it's fine. We just have to die. It's okay. We just have to die. We have to die. It's okay. It's okay. That's the end of the level right there. It's just a fucking bullshit jump. And if you lose the jump, you either lose a life or you lose 20 minutes of your life. One or the other. Pick one. Pick one. Pick your favorite. Take your favorite kid, uh, throw them into the fire. Okay. Okay. All right, Bubsy heads, let's go. I love how you can't look straight down. It's really good. You can only look straight down when you're in the air and that's not by choice. Uh, so this dismount here is gonna be a little fucked because I don't even know how I did it and there's little flying Flying Wooly there. Oh shit. That's this is the platform that takes you into the level. Do you see how that mother No Okay, well, it's time to redo the whole level. I'd rather not lose a life. Let's try not to lose a life. We do have to redo the whole level now. Let's try not to hit a fucking checkpoint. At least. In case we actually do end up dying. Uh, where is it? Um, is it this way? It is this way. Yeah, it's this way. We're ignoring the checkpoints. I don't want to hit them. Thankfully, a lot of the enemies are dead. So, not this guy though. Goopy Gus here? No, he's still there. All right, we're one hit away, but. You see, we call that a death corpse, because now, now now, I'm back at literally, literally, there's a checkpoint here. This checkpoint here is for a single jump. It's a single jump is what this checkpoint is here for. And it's the last jump in the level. And it's so bullshit, it has its own fucking checkpoint. I want to kill the enemy that's on that platform. I don't think I have. Because I think I just fell off, right? Because I, I don't want—I don't want to kill it because I don't want to lose health trying to kill it. But if I don't kill it, I'll lose health by not killing it because it's gonna hit me. Because it won't be dead. Yeah, Bubsy, stop ledge grabbing. I know you—I know you love it. There you go. Never feel accomplishment or relief because that is when—that is when it is taken by you. Yeah, like, see this guy? All right, and I need to kill this guy right now. Take advantage of my iframes. I jumped off the fucking thing. I take it back. It's not for one platform. It's for one platform and one enemy. I think the goopy guys don't exist if you don't look at them sometimes. Yeah, every enemy is the worst. Yep. Yep. Uh, where the fuck is that? There it is. It's this one. Don't miss. I think there's mosquitoes on this route. Yeah, there are. They're right there. You gotta duck for this or else you get hit. Hopefully this one just drops you where the checkpoint is. There's no, there's no trickery on that one. There's just some mosquitoes and that's it. How many hits do I have? Okay. 
My goal is to get onto the platform and then just hang out there. Fortunately, the flying woolly here is going to impede that. Oh, dumb, 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 mama. Dumb, mama. Okay, it's closer to the right. Go. Shout out to the clay thumb distortion tool for that Bubsy butt slide. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Two levels. One frame of that. Three levels left. I'm hoping the last two are boss fights. I don't think I can handle three full fucking levels, but they have rockets, which implies they're full levels. So. Anyway, hey, look at this image of Bubsy. Make you think of anything. Anyway. What untold horrors await us? Egg. Egg. Alright, what's this one called? Bright lights, big woolies. Okay. New music. New music, all right. Or that gorgeous water. Oh, okay, no, there's, there's a funny fucking yakky sax in there, okay. All right, we got the mushroom type free. Fucking wasting no time. Thanks, Bubsy. Waste no fucking time. Shoot me in the face with a blind enemy. Good work. Good fucking work. Right, At least I'm going the right way because there's an extra. This guy's going to hit me again. He can't hit me here, probably. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, let's assess a little bit. Uh, what the fuck is that? I'm going that way. Generally speaking, the level designers put the fuck. Ah, uh, you have to do that on approach. You can't do that on leaving. You won't be fast enough. I got a game over. Good thing we did that right now. Good to get a game over on the first checkpoint, at least. All right, gaming, gaming, game on, get your game on. Hey, the geometry for this one's busted. Who did that? Can I get up here? It hit me through the platform, that's cool. That's poggers, I gotta say. Like you can get an extra life here, but you're fucking stupid if you do. You're gonna, you're gonna like waste more health every game over getting that life. You're better off just not fucking bothering. I didn't lose a life. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Joke's on you, you motherfuckers. You thought you got me. You thought you got me, but your instant game over over water scenario didn't kick in for some reason. I didn't instantly lose a life. What are you going to do about that? Thorps. All right, you got to get it when it's getting closer. Not when it's getting further away. So like right here. Ah, okay. Time that way better because it was already going away by the time I got up there. If at any point you feel Why is there there's banjo midi in here too? Well it's not like banjo midi, but it's like a banjo riff. It's got it's got a weird little this music keeps going places. It's like going in ten different directions. I don't really know what's up with it. <laughs> and I I'm gonna get shot in the head. I'm gonna 
fucking JFK above there. Where am I going? I'm going down. I'm gonna get the gun. There's a bitch. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna engage the bitch. I'm gonna pick up my gun though. That's a gun. In case you don't know Bubsy, that, that's Bubsy's gun. You can't shoot his gun in the air though. It kind of sucks. But that is Bubsy's gun. I now have a gun. Uh, it, it's not very useful because it shoots the bullets that kill you. It shoots the bullets that kill Bubsy. <laughs> and you want to be careful shooting a gun that shoots bullets that kills Bubsy. Hey, look, a checkpoint. Hey, look. Platforms. Oh, are these warps? No. What the fuck? Oh, I need to hit the switch. And then it'll activate something over here. Okay. I love how they put the plat the platforms, the respawn spots in places where it requires you to backtrack. Always love to see that. I tried to shoot him with my gun. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't strong enough. Wait, I had a life? Oh, wow, I, ha I have lives actually. What the fuck? I didn't, I thought I was on my last life for some reason. I don't know why. I had just game over, so I, I shouldn't have been. That's weird. Well, I was, I was under the assumption that I was on my last life, that entire life. Whoa, platform! Is that all I gotta do up here? That is literally the only thing I have to do up here. Get past the flying bitch. We call that a, a death break. It lets you stop moving on a dime by dying. It just costs a life though. Watch my streams and you'll learn all kinds of speedrun tech. Fuck these. I love it when platforms random directions everywhere all over the place. I really like it when platforms everywhere all over the place. It's really good and it feels really nice to platform on when they go all over everywhere all over the place. It's really good when they're everywhere all over the place. I really like that. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel protected when they're all everywhere all over the place. I enjoy it a lot when, when they're every everywhere all over the place it's really good especially when there's no point of reference for uh scale or distance or anything you know just against a blank backdrop you know with 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 no 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 depth perception this fucker frame one he's gonna It's gonna get worse, Sangria. It's gonna get worse. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, it'll get worse before it gets better. And then it'll get worse still. I have plans. Smile. Smile. I wish you could- I wish there was just like a reset, like, game over yourself button. This is the thing any game with lives like this should do, is if you game over, if you lose a life on the first checkpoint, you should keep all your lives. <laughs> I committed and it paid off. Okay, you cannot hit that guy from the platform if you commit. You have to do a half measure. Okay, watch out for this fucker. I, I don't know what I was gonna do about that. I guess a side pop maybe would have pulled that off. I don't know. I need to... Well, I need to hit the checkpoint before I fucking die. Yeah, I mean, this is just a problem with life systems and video games in general. It's like, you should only expend lives after a checkpoint. And this is only for... Lives aren't bad. And, no, I don't think lives are bad as like a an absolute or anything. It's just that if you have a game that has checkpoints, like specifically a game that functions specifically like this, where you have levels and they have checkpoints 
and gaming over just means losing all your points and then starting back with like three or four lives or whatever blah 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 um like yeah i don't know well not everything can be a a, a refined screen by screen crafted fucking like work of art platformer okay Sometimes you have to build tension uh, with resource management. You know? Also, it makes for a reward you get to give the player. Okay, can I hit that guy? No. Run! Got it. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. All right, everywhere all over the place platforms. Let's fucking go, gamers. Will Bubsy die? I did not mean to do that, but it works. I'm gonna fucking... I feel good. I feel good and cool. I'm gonna have a stroke. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. You see the kind of shit I put up with? I'm a saint. I'm a saint, baby. I like the part where Bubsy just removes the life. He just is like, you know what? You know what? I don't think you earned that life. And then he just takes it away from you. I like it when I jump on a platform and another platform appears under my fucking feet. That's really cool. Hey, can I reach the ground this time? There we go. All right, Mr. Bug, where are you taking me? And dab on the bug. Well, there's a fucking checkpoint here with uh, no lives, right? Yep. And this fucker's got a gun. He's going to shoot me. Yeah, there he goes. Fucking hate the flying guys. The flying guys are like the ultimate evolution of like the regular bastard. Oh, you can make that jump. What are you fucking talking about? Don't play me like that game. You think I'm stupid? I know I can make that jump. Look at the platforming it tried to make me do. Look at that. Look at that all over game over water. Yeah, yeah, no, man. No, 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 I'm not dumb like that. I'm dumb enough to play Bubsy, all right? But I'm not that dumb. I, so I like that level design where it's like, hey, if you're attentive, you can... There's shortcuts like all over the place if you're like, if you know where to look for. Don't fucking tell me. Okay, okay, okay. It wasn't requiring me to do fucking vehicle platforming. Good, 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 good. Platforming off of vehicles like this is like the worst thing. I hate it when they make me do like rocket exchange. What the fuck was that? Oh, the bug respawn. Oh, now I have to go all the way back up. Okay. Well. There you go. Hi, Bubsy. How you doing? How you doing, Bubsy? Doing well? Feeling good? Man, you really, uh, really isn't any ambience on this game over screen, is there? Or this one. <laughs> Bubsy and all the copies of his game he couldn't sell. Ah, all right. All right, you motherfucker, don't get shot. By those fools. I like it when the start of the level exists to eat lives out of me before I get my run going. I 
didn't make that jump with any comp. Uh, uh. I get it. Die already. Come on. Like, haha, we can do a, a coyote fall. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, Bubsy. You're right. It's pretty funny. Good joke. I Okay. I, I'm, I, you don't want to be on the slopes here on these platforms. It's a little fucked up. A little wonky. I overshot that pretty fucking hard and I forgot to stop holding forward. I should have not done that. Yeah, the fucking... See, like, that gag is okay. The problem is the detection on it is, like... Ugh, the detection on it's, like, really bad. It's, like, way too liberal with how many game overs it gives you with that animation, you know? I'm trying to find little shortcuts here, which is why I'm rubbing myself against the slopes a little bit. I hate these fucking platforms because you gotta jump like way before you think you're ready to actually land on the fucking thing. And then you, you know, you undershoot it. And then you get a game over before the level even starts. Ah! All right, let's go gamers. Let's fucking go gamers. Let's fucking go, let's fucking go, let's fucking go, gamers. Where are we going? I don't know, but let's fucking go. Shoutouts to the atoms we keep picking up. I love the atoms because they can hurt me. There we go. <laughs> okay, remember you can't hit that guy, except if you can. Sometimes you are allowed to hit that guy. All right, and then this fucking guy, do a sidestep. Do a sidestep. If you're homie, He's fucking on. I can't hit him. He's too high up, right? But now he's low enough that I can. But now it's like. But now he hits me again. And then 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 I fall into the water and I get a game over. And then my, my monitors go into night mode. And now everything looks kind of orange. Hell yeah. Because it's 9 p.m. and I'm still up. Oh, wait. I could have been playing the fucking Hitman right now. I am not dead. Right, I did a strafe jump there. I think you get you get you get more distance, I think, if you're uh doing a diagonal hop. There's my gun. Bubsy is orange. Yeah, I can't really tell a difference on Bubsy's palette here. Now you can you can't you do get to That was not Yeah, that's one of the spots where it's bullshit. Those platforms are set up specifically to get you with a bullshit one of those. Because, like, I, I... Here's the thing. Like, I was passing into safe... Like, a safe spot underneath solid ground, right? But Bubsy doesn't care because I was, for a moment, over the game over, like... The game over spot. And then it gave me a game over. I was like... <laughs> in the spot where it's like hey okay, if there's not ground underneath your feet it kills you even though i was on my way to not being in that area it still killed me well at least i already hit the switch so i don't do the platforming again in this spot i can just uh hey remember to stop moving before you fall like a fucking dork oh you can't stop on a dime if you backed up it's a little weird though i wouldn't like rely on it to save my life i just killed myself I'm not used to this. Thankfully, you can, from a stand, you can do a side hop onto the green platform from the uh, default starting. All right, gamers. Let's fucking go. Where would the rocket even be? I haven't seen where it could be yet. I guess it's probably in one of those optional routes that gets you to an extra life because the low distance on uh, platforms and shit is pretty bad. Man, I really hope they torture Bubsy. Can we like interrogate Bubsy? I don't really care what we interrogate him about. We should just interrogate him, you know. Just see what see, see what he see what he knows, you know. Maybe plant some evidence while we're at it, you know. Bubsy Bubsy seems like a guy who might be up to something, you know. 
just to be safe. Right, watch out for this fucker. He's dead. Watch out for his friends. Just do not engage. Do not engage with that guy. Literally do not engage with the I killed. How am I not dead? How did that not kill me? 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 How am I not dead right now? How, how in the fuck did that not kill me? How did that not kill me? I, 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 yeah, yeah. The flying woolies in particular lead their shots. I've noticed. They will, they will overshoot a lot. Like before you even jump, it's, they, they like read your input there. This is forward, I think. I was gonna say before I game over by falling into the water, um, a good way to turn while you're in motion is to grab the edge of a platform because that will make Bubsy face in the direction of the edge that he grabbed onto. So if you're moving really fast, you can take that into account and use that to turn on a dime while you're like moving around, usually vertically. See, so like now I'm facing the other way. Because uh, Bubsy can grab a ledge from 360 degrees. He doesn't have to be facing the ledge to grab it. We gotta make sure we want, we, we need a transitional platform here first. There we go. Hey, my man. Hey, yo, Sonic the Hedgehog. I really love how you agreed to cameo in this game. Thank you. Yeah, the ledge grab is very generous. The ledge grab is the most powerful tool you've got. Other than like strike jumping. Your air control is surprising. How many lives do I have? Damn, son. We got here on a good fucking roll. All right, watch out because there's a flying bastard to our side here. I want to avoid messing with that guy. All right, is there a guy up here? Oh, right. This is the one where you, you just like... Yeah, this, this is the one where you skip the whole thing, right? You just do that. You know, that killed me the last time I did that, too. That's pretty awesome. Gotta say, that's fucking awesome! Alright, where's my best friend, the bug? Where's my bug friend? Come here, buddy. Way past cool, let's go. Me and my friend, Sonic the Hedgehog. The, the hex bug. We're gonna hit the green platform switch which is maroon for some reason. Is this the maroon convention? I wish I could dab faster. Hey man, are you running out of power? You're pretty slow. <laughs> All, right. All right, yeah, now we got, no, get me off of that. X-Bug part two. Uh, is there still an enemy flying around here? I don't remember. Oh god, I gotta go back to the blue platform. This sucks. This sucks on ice. If I was a fake gamer, I'd be save scumming all over the place here. Oh damn, that was the green button too. So my like safe spot isn't here anymore. I gotta reactivate that fucking checkpoint. Oh, there's the green plot. <laughs> nice fucking save, bro. All right, get it while it's on its peak of its arc. Absolute fucking bastard platform. Holy shit, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, yo, it's Final Destination, let's go! Yippee! Is that a switch? Is that a fucking switch mid-air? No, that's the green switch, okay. Where am I going? Oh, there's a switch here too, okay. Cage! 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 The bug's over there somewhere. Let's fucking, there's an invisible guy here. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Careful, oh, Bubsy! Bubsy, you double input. Dab on them haters. There's a checkpoint there. I didn't hit it. Hopefully I don't need it. How many lives do I have? Okay, well. 
Would have been nice to have. Hey, Pupsy. Oh, are we hitting that button? No, we're... No, no, we're hitting that switch. Okay. That is not... What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Last time that happened, fucking the first time you introduced hitting the switch on the bug, you clipped through it. You clip straight through it because your your feet are attached to the bug and the bug is helping you pass through the switch which normally has collision when you're not on the bug. But the first time you interact with it, you're not going to want to get off the bug, right? You're not going to get off the bug, right? It's a fucking teaching moment. It's a fucking teaching moment. It's a fucking Mega Man's got to jump. Mega Man has to shoot the guy. Fucking Mario will jump on the Goomba if you don't move. And fucking 1-1, one -one, the Goomba kills you. You got to remember to hit one of the buttons and you realize you can jump and then you realize you accidentally land on the Goomba and then you hit the Goomba and then you, the game teaches you something. And and then you have that fucking, the fucking information gets entered in your brain. It literally changes the physical fucking shape of your fucking brain, bitch. Your fucking neuroplasticity. The fucking game designer has their fingers in their brain and they're fucking changing your neural pathways, teaching you things. And then what do you do? And then what do you do? All right. Okay, cool. Boom. It works on the first bug. Boom. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Second bug. Second bug. Second bug. You know what fucking happens? You game over. Thankfully, I had extra lives. But I did miss a checkpoint. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, that saves us some time, doesn't it? Or did it? Yeah, the consistency, huh? Uh... Well, uh, that was a death warp, at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, next time, we, when, if we finish this level or get a game over, we're gonna take our BRB. Because we've been going for two and a half hours without a break. Alright, get me up here. There's a checkpoint. What the fuck is going on up here? I'm guessing this is just the hell machine to get to the switch. I don't want to hit the checkpoint over there. I don't trust that. Not before I hit the switch. Uh, which is right there. You know what's fun about this part? Uh, the ground is the same color as the water. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Especially when the fog hits it, it's the same color as the water. It's really good. I like how- I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's really awesome. I think that's fucking epic. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Wait, wait till Timmy from school fucking reads my Jonesy skeleton soldier creepypasta. Is there any good Bubsy creepypasta? I was never really like, I kind of grew out of creepypasta. I never really hit that like post irony, like creepypasta aficionado appreciation for all my skunk cred. That was never really my thing. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, creepypasta did come up last time. I forgot about that. That, I, that stream was seven and a half hours long. I'm going to forget most things about it. I have no lives, right? I'll hit the checkpoint anyway, because it'll make me feel better. Unless it gets me a game over. Wouldn't that be really funny if I overstep the checkpoint? And, hey, is that the end of the level? No, that's just two assholes. Hey, is that the end of the level? Is that the end of the level? No, that's not the end of the level. Maybe it is. All right, Sonic, take me away. Sonic speed. Well, we're not going towards the thing that looks like it might have been the end of the level. Oh, you're taking me to the fucking ziggurat over here. Alright, buddy. 
Is this really where, we're, where you're going? It looks like it, yeah. Alright. Guy's still going. Nah, no, yeah, nah, no, he went away. Okay. Hey, look, a life. No, I'm not going that way. I'm not stupid. So, these platforms are precarious because they're setting me up for a game over. Look at that. You thought I was going to do that whole segment. And, uh, no, where am I? Where am I? I guess this is where I'm supposed to be going. I just jumped up the hill instead of... Why did I do that? I just jumped up the hill instead of going all the way around to spiral up it. There's a fucking freak at the end of this thing, though. What am I gonna do? I saw it. I couldn't... I, I pushed the wrong... I, I guessed a button to press, and it was the wrong one. Yeah, killing this guy... Oh, see that projectile? He shot a projectile as his last act on his last possible actionable frame. What a motherfucker. This guy's gonna angle a shot up at me. If I move any further. Where am I going? Is there a life? Is this the platform that has the life at the bottom of it? I think it is. Yeah, it does right there. How many hits do I got? Two. I think I can afford to get that life. Fucking gamer, let's go for it. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be right back. Anything in my fucking playlist ever sounds weird, it's because it's from Lisa.
watching playlist is of every super giant game Lisa, the painful, a little bit of the joyful, and Kingsway, Racing Lagoon, uh, Disney's Magical Tetris. Which honestly, I've been fi I've been finding a lot of the Magical Tetris tracks to be particularly grating lately. I might get rid of some of those. And I gotta clean up a lot of the super giant ones. There's way too fucking many super giant tracks in here. I need to like get rid of some of them. Like I did do a little bit of cleaning. <laughs> like there's only oh, you know, I actually did do a lot of pruning here. There's only like ten, maybe eight Hades tracks in the playlist, so I definitely pruned the fuck out of that. I think I need to prune a little bit of the transistors. Too. Uh, Pyre... The problem is Pyre's got a lot of, like, consistent, like... Consistently, um... Music of consistent energy, because it has, like... Battle themes for, like, all the teams and stuff. Uh... I think I can, I think I can get away with getting rid of most of the fucking, um... Bastion stuff, though. I'm kind of, like, good on that. Oh yeah, of course. Anyway, here's versus Goofy. Here's versus Goofy. <laughs> oh yeah, I should check Discord while I'm at it. Ah, uh, yeah, I see there's a clip of me grabbing the rocket and immediately getting a game over. Fantastic. We'll have to check that later. We're gonna get started again in a minute or so. I need a moment. I'm just doing a Discord check while I'm at it. Who's playing out? Who's whining out? It's because this one, the one fucking riff in the sounds like that Gorillaz track, which it might be that bit, which is probably, it pro it's probably from like the same sample pack because this predates that Gorillaz song. SMH, Rosie didn't raid us. <laughs> Smile. Could have gotten that. They got in that funny triple raid stream. Ah, well. You know, I don't think I've ever, like, had this problem, like, seriously, but every now and then I, like, check, uh... I'm like, I, this has been something that's been happening recently for me, but I, I, I feel that weird paranoia that, like... Uh, this weird paranoia that, um... I've somehow left my microphone muted and haven't realized it. There's like no way that that would happen to me, but I mean, it could, but like that like never happens. I'm not the kind of person where like that shit happens to me. But for some reason, I, like I'm always like paranoid that that's like exactly what's about to happen. Wow, that fucking sound I made to my mic when I got that game over, huh? I am hurting my mic. <laughs> Maybe I should ease up on that a little bit. Oh, fuck, dude. Uh... You know, part of me was, like, reticent to play Mizerna Falls without a guide because I was, like, really worried about, like, jank and kind of that kind of thing. But you know what? If I'm going to finish Bubsy, I think doing Mizerna Falls without a guide should be fine. I think that should be fine. That's one of those games where I might have to like re like play it twice on stream, though, you know? And that's a little, uh, ahem, silly. 
you know what? Uh, before, right before we get started, too, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Anyway, Bubsy is. Bubsy is. Bubsy is dead. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this on stream yet, but uh, I I enabled. I think I did, didn't I? Like during the freelancer stream the other night. But uh, I enabled Discord monetization stuff. So you can spend $3 a month on the Discord server to get no benefits at all, but uh, it costs less than a Twitch sub, and in theory, I should get more money than I get from a Twitch sub from that. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe one day I'll come up with like a reason for people to actually do that beyond just a, a way to give me money. <laughs> That is different. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I also like my Discord server has no value, like in of itself, because like my I I like I like deliberately don't like host my Discord as like a community space, because I have absolutely no interest in doing that. I like it as like a little announcement spot where like some information can be communicated if people need to. Oh, I should have committed if I was going to die. Um, I didn't meet the pause. Is it paused through the game over? I hit start to skip it. Not the game over, but the, the deaths, the death animation. Okay. Fuck, I should have committed harder. I didn't, I, I let go of, um, I let go of right. I let go of my uh, strafe. If I committed harder, I would have gotten that. Ah. Yeah, the problem with introducing like a new uh, payment thingamajig to an audience of any size is like, well, you guys, are, like, you guys get shit for subbing on Twitch. Like, you get something material back, right? But like, for Discord, you're not getting anything. And also, like, it's a new thing. It's a separate thing. You gotta go somewhere else for that. And that's like, a... like, I'll pr like, it doesn't cost me anything to like have it be available though, which is why I did it. I'm also kind of curious if, like, any international viewers are, like, even able to interact with it. Because, uh, only people in the U.S. can monetize stuff right now. It is kind of wild, though. Like, Discord doesn't have, like, any barrier to entry beyond, like, the... the... How did that hit me? Discord doesn't seem to have, like, any barrier to entry for monetization like Twitch does. Like, you literally just have to be like, I want to be monetized, and they'll go, okay. Uh, give us your SSN. <laughs> Smile. I'm going the wrong fucking god fucking... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I guess his hitbox is up there, even if his animation isn't finished yet. That's cool. Okay. I would like the gun. I'll forget I have it, but I would like the gun, please. believe that the problem with the coyote deaths i don't believe them i don't believe them <laughs> like you show me dying there and i'm like i don't believe you i don't believe that killed me man can i get a citation can you like show me the water or something please <laughs> i well that one i believe I meant to hit. I hit spacebar as though that would fucking skip it. Alright. 
We're going to have to do a couple reps of... We're going to have to do a couple reps of uh, this fucking start. I forget, you can press fucking square or whatever to like get to full speed faster. The problem is you get to full speed so quickly. It feels like it's not like relevant to do that at all. I should have strafe jump. I don't know, I guess you don't have to consider the standards at the time, like... I don't know. Maybe. Like, this is one of those things where, like, yeah, the people making it, I mean, they knew it was bad. Even for the time, right? Like, at least that much, you can probably say with a bit of confidence, but... I'm actually not really sure what this dev team was doing, aside from, like, the Bubsy shit. Because, uh... I'm kind of curious, like, how... Like, like, this definitely feels like some dev studio's, like, first 3D game, for sure. Alright, there's a shortcut. Uh... But... I'm not really sure. I panicked a little bit there. Probably shouldn't have. Admit a little bit here. Uh, are there are cheese here, or what? Cheese is just to grab one of the taller platforms. And then just do that. Okay. Like, eh. What is fun? <laughs> no, not quick. I jumped just in time. What life counter do we have? Three, hooray! All right, it's time to get our game on. Get your 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 game on. Backwards jump. I didn't have to do that. I was already on the right platform. It's this platform. And then you whoop. Okay. There we go. Really nice of those woolies to not shoot at me while I'm here. Now observe as this one doesn't kill me. Or wait, do I have to duck? Is that the... No, no, yeah, that one doesn't kill you. Because you don't pass through it. You pass by it. That's why that one doesn't kill you. But like, like clearly what they want you to do is to do like a live transfer. Like you have to jump off the bug and I, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was me not letting my finger off the gas pedal. And then I get hit when I respawn. Thanks game. That's really cool of you. I'm really happy. I'm proud. You did a great job, Bubsy. Good fucking job. I'm gonna lose another life here. This motherfucker can shoot through the platform. Where am I going? Where's the blue platform at? Okay, pro tip. Uh, don't grab this checkpoint. Uh, it's a trap. It's a fucking trap. Uh, I'm just up here because I need a second to fucking think. Is the blue platform even loaded in? Where is it? Oh, it's back here, right. Uh, I could have ducked that maybe. That looks like it could have ducked it. Where is it? Is it here? Oh? Hey, you can duck those guys at least. Where the fuck is the blue platform? Huh? Huh? Oh, does this guy take you back to that area? I'm fu- well, it doesn't matter. I'm just confused as to how you- You have to hold duck when you respawn here if that guy's not dead. That's fun, isn't it? 
Alright, we gotta get back on Sonic. I came here on the bug? Oh, did I? I do not remember that. I do not fucking remember. Oh yeah, that bug, right, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm hitting that spot where it's like, all the shit is blurring together. Oh, it's all blurring together. Now I want to look for the blue platform, which is over there. Oy, oy. Yo, does somebody want to pick me up? Pick me up? Pick me up? Alright, hit the dark gray platform. There we go. With all my zero, one life. Be on the red platform to get on the green platform because the green platform is fucked up and twisted like that the green platform is the the joker of the group wait is the fucking rubber sound the sound of the invisible guys i call them invisible guys even though they're clearly visible but you know what i mean the guys who are deliberately the same color as the floor yo i love it up here isn't it great up here? Love it up here. Cage! Trapped in a cage! Trapped in a cage! Fuck the- fuck the checkpoint! Let's fucking go! Hey wait, is this the exchange one? Is this the fuck you one? Maybe I should hit the checkpoint actually. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. I don't think Duckin's gonna help us, boys. Alright, every Bubsy. This is the fuck you one. Alright. I might get stranded on top of the switch. What if I duck? I think I can duck it. No, I can't. I think I could have. I think I did. I panicked, though. I should have committed. I think ducking it is the solution there. Hey, remember about ducking? Big rat. I know you're fucking there. All right, well, we're back here again. Back on the blue platform path. Real gamer hours. Video games are nice. Do you like how that threatens to push me off? Do you like that? That feels good. Hey, you see that guy? Fuck that guy. That guy doesn't- I don't- that guy, I don't care about him, but fuck him. Just on principle. On principle. Alright, new pro tip. Don't hit any of the checkpoints after the multicolor platforms. Don't hit any of those checkpoints. Use every death warp you can get. That's the new pro tip. Pro tip, death warping is cool and awesome and you should do it. I should remember I have the gun, but I don't think the gun has been useful yet. Has the gun been- I don't know if there's a spot where I, like, need the gun. It kind of feels like th they, they give you the gun on levels where the gun isn't useful. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, buddy. Alright, this is my only checkpoint. Hit no other checkpoints. No other checkpoint is real. Every other checkpoint might as well be a game over spot, okay? Because if you need a checkpoint, you're already doing pretty bad. Pretty poorly! Oh! Pretty poorly, pretty poorly, pretty not so great! Okay, here we go! Uh-oh! My 
Mario! Waha! Mario! Waha! Platform! Yippee! Yippee! It's me, your best friend, the Mario! That's right! I was here! Sitting on the couch! Downstairs! Come on! Come down, we play Mario game together! Woohoo! It'd be so much fun! You got a copy of Odyssey burning a hole in your tablet right now! Don't you want to be playing my game? Do it for me, Mario. You know that's the first time I fucked up that jump. Maybe Mario shouldn't be here for that. I mm, all right, I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I don't know what. All right, that's out of habit. I guess. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Way past cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck shit. I'm gonna eat ass. <laughs> Let's go. Don't fuck up the jump. But fuck up the jump. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I'm gonna fucking break something. Not like an object, like like a piece of my body is going to rupture if I'm not careful. If only Bubsy would serenade us while our our Sonic takes us across the way. They make Bubsy like this. Did Bubsy want to be like this? I that that was almost a coyote jump, which this game does not like to do. <laughs> this game doesn't coyote jump. This game just fucking kills you. How did that not hit me? Do I have any hits? Yeah, I do. You know, maybe you can... Okay, you can't shoot your gun while you're on the bug. Maybe you can hit the platforms with an atom. So maybe you can skip platforming segments by shooting an atom, like, off into the distance. I should I should find a setup where I can do that. I should definitely find a setup where I can do that. Cause that might be why the gun is there. It's like a way to skip all the bullshit. The you see, that's why I didn't grab any checkpoints. Cause now I'm where I want to be. I want to be here. And now my checkpoint actually takes me to where I want to be <laughs> instead of some fuck off place I have to get out of. Honestly, yeah, every checkpoint on this map is a trap after the first one there. I hope when I die for real, it doesn't really feel like it does in Bubsy. If dying in real life feels like it does in Bubsy, then that'd be pretty bad. I don't think I'd be a big fan of that. All right, gamers. Hey, look at that. Em. It's going to hit me. You like that? Did you like that? Did you like that? Do you like how it does that? That's really funny. Ah, uh, it's so funny. I love how it does that. Hmm. I am curious to like load into the, I think the tutorial level has a switch in it. I might be able to see if I can shoot it with an atom just as like a test. Because if you can shoot switches with atoms, then that, that changes a lot of stuff. 
That means I'm going to be looking for, like, sniper spots. That, that means I'm playing Hitman. I'm playing, like, sniper assassin challenges in Hitman now. Which is a lot of fun, finding those lines of sight, like, perfectly. That stuff's fun. I love that. I finished, like, all of the... In uh, the Hitman trilogy, I did all of the... Um, I didn't do every SASO. I didn't do every sniper challenge for every single mission. But I did the amount required to get the uh, cosmetic rewards from it. So, like, I had the SASO suit. And I had the, the sniper rifle from the sniper challenges. We're getting, like, 17 of each of those. And, um... That's cool. I kind of wish there was like more unlocks for getting SASO, like if you got on literally every level instead of just like 17 of them. Because what, there's like 21 destinations or something? I don't know. If, and, and, and there's like multiple missions on some destinations. And it would be cool if you could uh, like actually get a reward for that, you know? Where am I going? I will say, just generally speaking, the World of Assassination Trilogy is very good when it comes to just, like, giving the player rewards for shit. Oh, you know what? We can actually test this when we get up here. Um... Oh, there's the Ziggurat. Oh my god, it's been so long since we got that far. Wait, is that the Ziggurat? Yeah. Is that this level? Maybe? Oh god, I don't know. Alright, well, here's this guy. Holy shit. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh no, what does that mean for us? Okay. Okay, it works. Okay, you can shoot the switches. Um, problem. The atoms have a limited travel distance, right? But it's pretty far. It's like further than your view distance. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I can't do anything about it, dude. It's gonna hit me. Uh. Okay. I don't think we're beating this game tonight. Actually, no, that guy wasn't shooting. Okay. That guy was. Fuck, caught me. Look at that. Okay, so, uh, let's fish for... Let's do a sniper assassin challenge here. Let's, let's, let's take a look. What can I get away with here? So, um... Is there... I don't know if there's, like, a switch I have vision on, right? Maybe over here. At water. This would be at water level down here, right? Right here. Uh, where is it? The switch for this area. Because you take the bug, it goes over there. Is it like that direction or is it that direction? I guess I can check. Okay, it's not there. It's not that way. How many shots of this do I have? Is it 15? See. It's not that way. I mean, that thing goes fast. Well, there's the bug. 17? Wait a minute, don't I have ammo for this? Oh no, it's in the bottom left. Okay. I do have a limited amount of ammo for that. I guess I can fish around a little bit. I'm fine with that. I'm not really committed to this run, specifically. Okay. Can I peek anything over here? What if I fucking pull a ricochet? If you die, you lose the gun. You lose the gun if you die. Oh, fuck. It doesn't respawn either. Oh, no. Okay, that sucks. 
That impedes a bit. Oh. Thank you, Bubsy. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking. Or am I? I'm trying to think. So, uh, here's the thing, right? Like, that's cool tech. Being able to shoot an atom into a button. There's no way there's actually a setup for that, though. Right? Like, there's no way. Well, hey, have fun, Makwak. Go fucking bed. Go to the go to bed. And sleep and shit. Ah. Uh, okay. We'll do a few more attempts. We'll do a few more attempts. I'm not going to stay up all night doing this. But we'll do a few more attempts at least. Here he is. I can like fish around a little bit just for info because of the way these things work. I should do that more. Yeah, so that's the that's the end of the map over there. You are invincible when you shoot these. That's pretty good. Uh, fuck you? Hey, what if I shoot the- Can I collect like a one-up with these? I probably can't. That's a fun idea, because that's a- That's like a setup for that. Like if I had the gun already. Hmm. That does kill that guy. That is tech. If you want to get the bonus life, that's tech. Can I- There's not a setup for this- The other guy though. But that is, that is, that is, that does help you get that other life. That, that kills the guy who's guarding it. Who, who would otherwise get like a free hit on you. I don't see anything back there. Unfortunately, you can't grab an atom from in the air. Or on a moving platform. That might just be because I was dangling though. I let go forward. If I committed, I probably would have made that. Yeah, if I had started the stream at like 2 p.m., I probably would have been able to beat it today. But I decided to do an, an evening stream, which is not my usual kind of thing to do. I'm very much a daylight kind of person. I'm not a big fan of when it is dark out and I am sleepy. I'm not at my height. Like, why are there atoms on the edge there? You see that? Why do they put atoms, like, right where the fucking, like, water starts? Such a fucking weird spot to put them. Like, is that just to, like, make it hard to pick up? Or is there, like, a purpose for that? Is that, like, a, a, a guide for something, right? Like, what's up with that? Oh, I, my phone was not silenced this entire time. Huh. Oh, wait, did I? Oh yeah, Discord is silenced, okay. I could have sworn I unsilenced Discord before I started streaming. So I could hear notifications. It's still it would be muted for you guys one way or the other, but you know. I don't know what my plan was. I just took a hit. Alright, gamers. It'd be funny if I shot that into that. Wow, that's so cool. Video games. <laughs> Video games, huh? Alright, let's just try to do the route. Let's not, like, look for too many shortcuts or anything. Let's just, like, pull off what we can pull off here. See that in the distance? What is that? Hey. That is a switch. Do I? I don't have the gun still, do I? Because if I did. 
that's a setup for hitting a button right there. You see that? Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold on. This is a setup for hitting a button. Oh my god. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Alright, my man, Bubsy. Fire. Cage. Uh... That does nothing. I mean, that skips the platforming segment, right? That's technically fat, because I have to hit this button. So I can hit both buttons with the single platforming segment. That is a time save. That is absolutely a time save, and that is a risk reduction. Because now both bugs are unlocked, and I can go straight to the uh, the red switch. Or the green switch. I forgot I could do this. This makes everything so much better. Holy fuck. All right. That is absolutely a time save, and I should look for more saves like that. That said, hitting this switch, I don't... Oh, fuck. What's over there? What's over there? There's there's playable area right over there. You could hit the green switch from that platform. Where what is that? What's over there? Can I get over there? Hmm. Okay, that's worth investigating. Absolutely, that is worth investigating. Holy crap. That might be, like, a bit of a magic bullet for us here. I died. It's fine. I didn't do any checkpoints. We're okay. Yeah. So there's a green island. Not that green island. Not that one. There's a green island somewhere. Over there pretty far away though where is that it's like there that oh shit okay I think you can hit the platform those atoms there because that's the start of the level right there I think that is the area we saw in fact, from there, you see that? You passed that. Let's take a shot. I'm out of, I don't, I died. Okay, hold on. There's atoms here for me to shoot. This might kill me though. Unless I'm careful. Be positively careful. Okay, so the. What a kill, Arnold. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that specific interaction. Okay, so. You cannot hit the button from this orange island because that green structure in the water will block any shot you fire. However, from the green island, the starting island, underneath the start of the bonus life tangent, that particular spot, you could in theory, shoot the switch, the green switch, the second switch, and you could skip the entire blue switch segment. That skipped an entire section of level right there. Not just a little platforming segment like the, in, the, the, the intra blue skip does. That's the whole thing. That's why the gun is there. Oh, but you can't backtrack. Can you backtrack the gun? Hold on. Can I backtrack? I'm about to get shot. Can you backtrack? Also, is there anything over here of note? No, but I am going to get hit. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. I don't think I can backtrack. This is like a one way. Yeah, this is a one way. You cannot backtrack no matter what. Okay. But there are atoms there that you can grab. Oh, 
I guess we're gonna go find out. Okay, okay. This could be a big deal. This time skip could be a big deal. So I might want to clear out some of the enemies first, but I gotta be careful not to pick up the atoms because I don't have the gun. I don't have the gun. Okay. So if we can see the orange spot, that gives us a good point of reference. But we already know it's a cluster of three atoms. Try to just avoid all of these. It's like right here. Is it here? Or is it on the other side? Is it where the one-up is? It might be where the one-up is. I think there's an island back there. Can you die? Become dead. How is this so hard? <laughs> Why do you suck? There you go. All right, whatever. Uh, No, there, it's here. It's this cluster. There's the orange. You can see the orange over there. So, I might be able to hit the switch if I aim like perfectly. All right, a little to the left. Hey buddy, what's up? Yeah, there it is. That, it, that it's right there. It's it's literally right fucking there. Oh my god. Okay. You only have one chance every life though, every game over. Oh, that's that's really precise. And now there's no. Well, I died. So problems. Right? I lost my chance to do that now. Yeah. Unless the gun has an angle I'm not thinking of here. Oh, wait, no, these have a chance. These have a chance, I think. The, these have potential angles, I think. The, the, these atoms lined up here. was way too much. All right, does this one up spot yield anything interesting for me? I don't think so. Yeah, it really does. Well, honestly, game overs are welcome here because I want I want these atoms to respawn like real fucking bad. In fact, I don't really want to grab the one up. What the fuck? Oh, that was the other guy shooting me. Uh, fucking introducing the fact that I can shoot switches from different islands is evil. What an evil thing to fucking teach me inadvertently. Like, look, there's the switch right there. You can see it. Okay, there has to be like some kind of way I can line that up, right? I need like a way, cause like the problem is I'm, I'm shooting blind, right? That's like the problem here. Uh, I don't have, I need like a reference point I can use to line up my shot. Uh, which I guess I could say like pass the one up, right? Cause like there's the one up, but that doesn't like add up. You see, it's not the right angle. So I guess like, oh, I have to do math. Uh, this would be easier if those atoms were still there. I think we'd be outside the load. No, no, the I would be able to see them from this distance. I can see the one that's up there. So if I fire. I need to fire that at. So, okay, if I'm orienting based on the corner, so here, I'm looking at the leftmost square in the checkerboard pattern here. Right, I, I have a mouse cursor, what am I doing? Oh, wait, Bubsy moves, so. Hey, okay, where's my mouse cursor? Why can't I see it now? That's weird. It was working last time. Uh, whatever, I'll just do... Uh, there we go, okay. So, here's my mouse cursor. So here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at this square 
on the corner, which I think is where the atoms spawn. I'm not actually sure. I'll have to game over real quick and like check. So I'm I'm using this from this point where these squares meet to the corner here. I'm using this as 45 degrees. And like this is 45 degrees, this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees. That's kind of how I'm orienting this right now. And 45 degrees by the looks of it, 45 degrees would send you straight through the middle of this like structure, I think. Yeah, it would send you straight through the middle of that structure. That's 45 degrees. Uh, but if we go up to like 50, you kind of hit the, the edge of it a little bit. You hit like the, the bigger arm. But if I were to go up to like 60 degrees, 60 degrees might be the sweet spot there. It really depends. Oh, you get to see that from a different angle if you're using the view tool. Okay. So, if our- oops. I don't want to game over yet. So, this is the corner I'm looking at. Where are the atoms? Are they here? They might not actually be here. This might be like a bad angle I'm sussing out. But like, you see how I'm blind? Like, completely, completely blind. I have no way of seeing. I can't even like fuck up my level. Like, like I can't even like side eye it. Do that one like load, like fog trick. Um, it's completely blind. None of the objects are loaded in from this perspective. You have to be. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. There you go. Yeah, so by by the judge of this, it has to be like. 70 degrees or some shit. It has to be a steep angle. In fact, I should use um this flat edge here. This flat edge here, I should use as like my zero degrees. And then this direction is negative, this direction is positive, okay? So, well, like if I pretend it's lined up on that corner there, then this would be like... Ten degrees, eight degrees, something like that. That will point that at that, I think. Uh, lens distortion, though. There's some lens distortion going on here. Okay. Okay. Well, let's respawn the atoms. Let's respawn the atoms and and the enemies too. I guess. Uh, I don't have to interact with that guy, so I'm just not gonna bother. There's no good angle for these atoms to hit it. I don't think. Yeah, okay, they are at the corner there. Let's just kill these guys first. How did I, how did both happen? How did both results happen? That's fucking cursed. All right, buddy. Hey, bro, come here. I just want you to be dead. I don't need the extra life. Hey, bro, are you gonna hit me? Thanks for answering my question, I guess. Well, was that necessary? Bubsy. Okay, whatever. Whatever, those guys are cleared. That's fine, that's all I cared about. All right. So let's see if we can figure out a setup. Honestly, if I can get a setup for shooting this fucking atom, I'm gonna save state here. I'm gonna save state here. Let me, um, save state, save state, save state. How are there no save states for this game right now? What the fuck? That's weird. Okay. Hey, uh, I have to check. What are my hotkeys for? Oh, no, that's not the. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. No, wait, that is what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. what is the save state? There are no save state keys. Okay. Uh, all right. So, left stick click 
this is going to be load and right stick click is going to be save. All right. So if I do unpause, if I do left stick, no, that loaded it. <laughs> okay. Whoops. All right, that works. Okay. So now I can kind of lab it out. Well, that was almost it. All right. Okay. Okay, so good thing when you grab it, you're in the same position, so I can I can actually come up with a visual reference here. Fuck, is it possible to get the angle? So Bubsy's hand being lined up with the corner, that's too far to the right, right? So if I do that, that's too far to the right. God damn it. Uh, it might not be this atom. I don't know if it's like possible, cause like I tap the button and it goes like a specific angle, right? Like I, I can only overshoot it in one direction or the other here. Maybe if I approach it differently. That. that is a meaningfully different angle. That is a completely different angle I've created. Holy shit. Okay, this might be... Okay, so it doesn't put... So Bubsy... It's wherever Bubsy is when he grabs it. It's not where the Atom is. That He doesn't snap to the Atom's location. The Atom snaps to Bubsy's location. Okay, that makes this a lot harder. Well, I think two hops to this side here. I have to commit a little harder. Yeah, it's too far. Uh, okay. Let me try one of the other ones. This the flying guy over here might shoot me. Is he aggro? The problem is I have to be able to get a consistent setup here. All right. Thankfully, like side hops, let me do micro adjustments pretty easily. Uh, okay, what if I like? Okay, let's let's pick a nice reference point here. Like, let's say about like this, right? That seems like it's kind of doable to get myself back here, right? Okay, so that fires. I saved the state instead of fucking loading the states. So now I, I have a state where I get hit. Awesome. Uh, whatever. I feel like that's... The, I saved a state where I was dead. Alright, well, hold on. We have the game over real quick. I gotta game myself over real quick. I immediately get it fucking twisted. Uh, was it right click? Right saves. I can't believe I. I feel like I had that set up opposite at some point, but whatever. Can I stand here without getting shot? Is this angle too extreme to get shot? I think this angle is too extreme to get shot. Okay, I think we might be safe. So I'm pretty much where I was before. Now we have to commit to like a pretty big angle here. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we have to grab the leftmost one because this angle is extreme, right? Ooh, that might be it. I need to commit to two. I need to angle it twice. Like that. Oh, that's not even close to being enough. What the fuck? Okay. That's too far. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, can I can I do that consistently? Can I do that consistently? Hmm. 
Hey, wait a minute. Are these already lined up to make that shot? Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Is this evil? Hold on. Hold on. Are these lined up to make shots already? That one isn't. But is this one? Because it's possible these might actually be lined up. Like these two atoms are here to give you the right angle. That's not impossible. It's actually really possible. Almost. It almost seems like what that's doing. Mm-hmm. Fuck that up. The problem is you literally get one shot at doing it. You get one shot at doing it every single time. Every game over. It saves so much time though. Yeah, Bubsy is right foot landing in the green when he's neutral like that. That is like the spot to be in. Hey, Xana's playing left for dead too. That's too far, though. That's not far enough. The problem is, like, there's, like, other factors that kind of change how... I'm looking at this. Yeah. That's too far. Well, that's almost it. That almost got it. There we go. Maybe I can line myself up with the platform above me. Maybe I can use like the background. Let me see if I let me see if that works. I think that might be it. Hold on. Let me see if I can fuck up where I am. Maybe, maybe, maybe the background can work as a point of reference. I like pick some arbitrary points. Yeah, okay. I pick some arbitrary points on the background relative to the curve of this platform here. And I think it works. I think it almost works consistently. Uh, let me like fuck up my angle a little bit and see if I can approach it from like a different spot here and see if I can get the same results. Mm, I think that might be a little bit consistent. Because whenever I see it get misaligned, it's misaligned. The results are misaligned, too. So that might actually be true. The problem is just like making this travel like a wide distance, like really quickly is really hard. It's just like it's hard to aim these. It's like really fucking hard to aim these, even if you know like where you're trying to aim them, right? They're just like just they are just generally inconsistent. OK, my background reference is not really working. Like, it does sort of work, but not, oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I'm, like, forgetting how far I have to go. Oh, yeah, the ground is the best reference here. Even if it changes depending on, like, where you grab it, the ground is absolutely the best reference here. I kind of wonder how many possible angles you can actually shoot this from. Because there you go. That's, that gives you the green platform right there. Hold on. I'm, I'm just looking for, like, visual points of reference that I can use for lining up the shot. And I don't think there's a consistent one because Bubsy's position on screen changes. Bubsy's position on the ground changes depending on, like, the, the angle at which he grabs the atom. It's like really inconsistent. All right, let me let me let me try. Let's try from fresh. 
Because I'm approaching it from the exact same angle over and over and over again. So let's just like reset ourselves entirely. See what that does. Okay. Mm, no. Didn't quite do it, huh? Ooh, it did not like loading that. You know what? Maybe using the other atoms as my reference point might be it. Let me see. Or relative to Bubsy. Like, what if this overlaps me? No, that probably isn't going to be it. Absolutely not. That's not it. No, those aren't. Again, Bubsy's position is inconsistent because he magnets the atom to himself. So every... All 360 degrees of angles you can approach this atom from will give you a different result. That said, your target is decently big. You still get it for like, just like skimming it there, right? Okay, what if I line myself up between the atoms? Can I do that? Okay. Fuck. Okay, that's difficult. <laughs> Doing this without save stating is gonna be a miserable experience. Like, look at that, that was a miss. Another miss. What cool if I could like steer them after I shoot them a little bit to like do some aim correction? Cause like, goddamn dude. Honestly, maybe using this as like a way of like lining the thing up might actually be the way of going about it. Like that, right? Like maybe that. But that's also like the angle I'm approaching. Because if I approach it at this angle, like it's not going to be the same result. Right? Maybe it will be. Maybe these are lined up. Maybe the thing- No fucking way they are. No, 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 no. They absolutely are not. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. That's a nice idea, but that's not how these work. It inherits the angle you give it, but it's not like billiards rules, right? It, it, these aren't like pool balls. They don't like- ang Like hitting them like- off center is not gonna give you any different results. Gee, somebody else is playing Left 4 Dead too. And I'm doing this. You can kind of see like the, the amount of variation I'm getting here is a bit spicy. Huh. Well, the good news is this trick is at the start of the level. So if I fuck it up, well, for one, I do actually have three tries, right? That That is actually the case. I do have three tries. So like I can take other shots. I'm curious, can you catch an atom that's like in transit? Nah, it just hurts you. Maybe it would be easier to line this one up. Fuck. Hmm. Helps to experiment with all of them. Okay, well, being perpendicular with the edge here is not the way to go. Yeah. Hmm. The fact that you can get those almost hits is kind of miserable, though. Variation depending on where you. Mm, yeah, there are absolutely no consistent visual points of reference. Like, here's the thing: I would have to have to have a consistent visual reference for the angle. 
Because these are like billboard sprites, right? And they're not even like exactly sitting where, where they're supposed to be, like at all times from all angles. So it's going to look different. They look different from every angle you can view them at. And they magnet to Bubsy's position based on the angle he's at. So like you get within a certain distance of them and then Bubsy has it like within a certain distance of the point, which means there's this circle around them where like that is where you will end up right somewhere on that diameter around the pickup when you're holding the button down. Right. And for all I know, there could be a variance to that based on like, I don't know, any number of things. Oh. Yeah, that's this is that this is it. This is the trick. Yeah, this is the trick. All right, let's try Let's try to implement the trick. All right, no more saves coming. No more saves coming. We're going to implement the trick now. I was going to give myself a game over just to get it just to have a fresh start. And you know what? <laughs> to save ourselves the trouble of uh, gaming over every time, uh, I'm just going to save a state on this screen just so I can skip all the game over shit. Yeah. I will, because that counts as resetting and loading like normally, so I'll take that. Look at that first fucking try on my first real run. Hell yeah, don't get hit. Okay, I forgot how to play the rest of this game after practicing that trick for so fucking long. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm a little fucking worried, gamers. Let's go. Let's fucking go, though. Ah, well, it's fine. I did the trick, so I'm not gonna reload my save. I'll play it as it lies for now. I didn't... How... How did I not... How did I not die there? You, I, Bubsy's feet were in the water. And I forgot to hold forward. <laughs> oh dear, I've forgotten how to play after all of that shit. Oh my God, I don't remember how to move. Please tell you me you remember how to roll. Okay. I am a fucking Bubsy God. Wow, that, that jump was so bad, I landed back on the platform I started on. That's kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright. Point and overturn there. Grab the gun for good measure. Come in handy? Thank you, Bubsy. I'm sure it will. That's awesome, Bubsy. Good work. Yeah, so like, if I have a, a, a continue where I get the trick, I will use all the lives in that continue. I won't reset from there. Like, I won't reset until, like, I have to. Until I game over. That, that'll, that, that'll just stop us from having this just be like, I reset over and over and over again until I do the trick, like, literally every life. Because I think that would be miserable. If I do the trick, I'll accept I'll accept it as a, a live run, and I will continue doing it. I will continue the run. Well, whoops. Oh no, ah! All right. I feel, I feel good about that skip. Don't commit to that. This jump sucks. This jump just kind of sucks. Is that jump from that one level? But like, I feel like the platforms just, they just fall out of sync. They just kind of fall out of sync. I don't know. Okay, we have to do the trick again. And if I fail the trick, I'll reload. God damn, twice in a row. Hell yeah, I'm better at this than I thought. Honestly, if you just commit to it, you'll get it. Hell yeah. I don't like this fucking platform. 
Yeah, I think it's a problem of they 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 aren't synced. Because they just have like different like I don't know. Their cycle lengths are different. On top of just like loading in at different times. Like there we got a cycle that works. Okay. I want the gun, but you know. So come in handy. Okay, bro. Fucking love that that killed me. If you get hit in the air, you just instantly die. That's okay. We can take it. We can take it because we have a fucking speed run skip in our back pocket. I, I wonder if that skip is intentional. It, it must be, right? The green switch skip must be intentional. Those are like very deliberately placed atoms they put there. Well, I lost my gun. I might as well not bother picking up the gun if it's gonna get me killed. Wait, actually it didn't get me killed at all. What am I talking about? It's this guy that got me killed. This guy gives stupid a bad name. And I can just jump from here. I didn't need to hit that. What am I doing? I can skip this whole area. I like literally don't have to do that platforming segment. Because I'm just going to go to the green section. Because I have this unlocked. Well, sometimes that happens, though. Fuck me. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. Now, where's the red switch? That's That's the cage switch right there. Where's the red switch? That's the red switch. Hmm, interesting that that's the red switch. Well, if that's the red switch, then... Well... Haha! <laughs> now we skip this section too! We have to ride the green platform, but bada bing bada boom, we're in business! I'm going to become the best player of this specific level of Bubsy you've ever- It's okay, I had an extra life. I had an extra life, so it's okay. 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 Right, it's the part where the ground looks like the water. Uh, okay, okay. Well, we have the cage. Here's the- okay, so the gimmick of this level is the cages take you to switches, right? Although that one, I think, takes you to the ziggurat. But... That means... That any level- I'm just double-checking that I have zero. That means that any- I'm about to get shot, aren't I? Any level... Where... Any level... Don't shoot me in the back. He's gonna shoot me in the back. I hate, I hate, I hate that interaction. Uh, well, that I could have shot that one to open the cage, I guess, but. But this one's not that bad. This is just a single platform moving around. That's not too bad. Make sure you're not above the water when you fucking jump, idiot. Like, don't die, stupid. Don't die to the infinitely tall kill walls. Like, if you're jumping up, you're okay, but otherwise... Alright, Spider, Sonic the Hedgehog, long time no fucking see. Let's mingle. Do you take me somewhere that I can skip? Cause I, is this this is the one that takes me to a couple spots, isn't it? Or is it just this spot? No, it's just this spot. Okay. The spot where you go to get hit and die instantly. Uh, well, there's the bonus life zone. Bet your ass you'll be able to shoot a switch from there. Probably gives you a rocket. I think. Yes. Hmm. Right, yeah, and then I can skip, like, this entire section by just jumping across this way. Not from there, though. 
Oh shit. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Watch out for that guy, he's gonna kill me. Uh, Alright. I think I might be able to beat this level tonight. I think I can beat this level tonight. With the fucking skips I've got, I think I can beat this level tonight. The real big brain skip is gonna be able to like... Skip this skip too. Well, yeah, I felt like that was overshooting it to the left. That one felt like it was I was overshooting. Woo! Okay. Oh, come on. You know, I can still make this. I can still make this one. Give it a shot. Never say never. And what do you say? I did it. Look at that. Oh, uh, how did I not get hit? <laughs> Don't reset. Just try again. They do give you three shots at hitting the switch. That is nice. But it's three shots from three different angles. So <laughs> it's not like you can really improve your aim there unless you're like a fucking aiming god, you know? Almost fucking missed that. All right, whatever. Fuck that guy. Here's the thing, the gun, actually pretty fucking useful, and now I know I can avoid this, so I'm not gonna die like a fucking boob. I got 10 bullets, let's see what I can do with that before I die. So... Um, I mean, if it's just right over there... Like... What if I just like... I think that's too high. But it's worth a try. Nah, I'm not gonna hit that. I need a lot of practice to hit any of those shots, you know? But what if it was from this height? I, I guess I wasn't holding square. That, I wasn't holding square. You had to walk forward and hold square to pick those up. And I guess I wasn't doing that. You know, I might be able to skip all of the switches entirely. If I can hit red switch from green platform here, it looks like I can hit red switch from green platform. Fortunately, I cannot shoot from moving platform as far as I know. As far as I know. Okay, make sure you don't pick any of these up. That's a hit. Careful with the fucking momentum, my man. Bub Z. All right. Gaming on him. Uh. And I still have my gun, too. Woo! Almost missed that. Ooh. <laughs> Now I want to actually hit the respawn point over there. It's like actually kind of useful to me. Uh, the button's up there. I don't need to shoot that button. This button's in range, unless I fall and die. <laughs> uh, I cannot reach that platform. However, I don't want to risk that. I can reach that from here though. That's just safer to do. Just the fucking weird objects on these things not having collision. <laughs> Goddamn godsend. Okay. Although that means you can't do like funny platforming on these little overhangs though. Which is kind of the nice part of like the, those factory levels with all like the fucking acid pits. The fun thing about those were they had those like scaffolding and there was uh, there were some cheese spots you could do by running along the deck the otherwise decorative scaffolding. Some of which was intentional, clearly. 
since you had to do it to get through. You know, by the end of this level, I'm probably gonna find like one really big skip somewhere. Just swinging my camera looking for shit. Okay. What's our status? We're doing pretty good. Let's not pick up any atoms, just in general. That feels like a good rule of thumb here. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, though. There's not much going on out here. Not much for us out here. I do have a gun. I can shoot that guy. So he doesn't bother me. Let's just not eat shit and die. This platforming segment becomes a lot cleaner if I can just shoot this dude. I don't have my gun. Never mind. I, I thought I had the gun. I guess I lost it. He knocked. He nyuck nyuck nyucked at me. Where was the spot I used to like jump over? I guess it was kind of precise. I don't know. We're taking the fucking scenic route apparently. Fuck me. All right. Well. At least the levels, at least this level isn't like intense enough that it warrants doing the fucking backwards strafe hopping everywhere to avoid enemies. I feel like as I've gotten better at Bubsy 3D, I've had to do that a little bit less. That was like a, that was like a fucking mid-level tech I figured out. It's not like actually completely useful all the time. Ooh, okay, you need to strafe jump that. I think, I think you might be able to get extra distance if you strafe jump that. Let's take a look and see. I died. But it's okay, I'm next to Sonic. My bug friend, here he is. Hey, what's over there? What's over there? Hmm. I bet there's like a nasty skip you can do if you bring the gun to the end of the level. Like if you can play this without dying even once. I, I, uh, I haven't seen a single rocket yet. So I'm, I'm betting there's some kind of bullshit rocket spot that involves, like, taking the gun all the way to the end, which would involve not dying a single time. And that sounds like a, a real pain, I gotta say. Yup! Strafe jumping does take you further. Fucking scientific evidence right there. If you're going straight forward, you can't make that jump, but if you take it at an angle, you have way more than enough distance. So where am I going? I guess I'm going across, huh? Yeah, across. I almost overshot that. Am I gonna get shot in the head? I might. Ooh, I almost did. Almost. This guy can shoot at a little bit of a higher angle. I gotta be careful here. Good. Uh. Let me try to hit this guy. I did, awesome. Uh, what's going on underneath us? Uh, I'll take that. That's a fucking freebie, I'll take that, dude. Gladly. First actual worth it extra life in the whole fucking game, dude. At least I haven't seen, like, enemies do some bullshit where they shoot, like, two shots all at once. That might have been, like, a thing from a specific enemy type in a specific level. Like, a specific color bully did that. Instead of it being, like, a weird, buggy, universal behavior. Where am I going now? I'm going that way. There's a check. I think that's it. Okay. Well, I'm not taking the fucking moving platform. What do you, what do you take me for? Fucking, fucking dummy? A dummy idiot? A maroon? I'm no maroon. I'm a god gamer. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Island time. Hey, you see that right there? Yep. There you go. There's a skip. Now I'm fucking trained to look for those, dude. I see them everywhere. Hell fucking yeah. I don't even know where that cage is, though. That's the problem. Guess it's just gonna be. Oh, fuck. How many hits I got? Eh, fuck. Yeah, fuck. 
Sonic, my buddy! What's up? Let's go on an adventure! Oh shit. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, I don't trust that. Yep, that's, that's, the, that's the type that kills you. That is absolutely the type that kills you. Okay, now that cage is open. Now we gotta get over there. Um, wait, the arrow's pointing a different way though. Is that a rocket pack? Where am I? What's going on? It's the end of the level. Shut up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, repeat this animation for me, please. Literally the same one. Why did some of them seem like they were plot relevant and some of these are just like this? Like just this and this is the third time we've seen this. No, wait, that's a new one. Okay, no, no, no. There, it's a variation on a theme. It's the invisible car one. It's just there's three versions of it, I guess. Okay. I'll take it back, Bubsy. You did produce something original. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, so that whole extra part was a rocket. At least a, at least a single rocket. And then there's Evil Bubsy. And then the other level. Oh my god. All right. Well, I think that's a good note to end. I think the hell that is bright lights, big woolies, or whatever. I I think I think I earned I think I earned the right to end the stream there. Cause that was fucking insane. Figuring out, labbing out that tech for that level was great. That's like, that's that specific shit. Like that specific shit is, is what like weird bad games are kind of all about is like figuring out tricks intended or otherwise to like speed the process up honestly i gotta like like that that's compliments in, in in bubsy's favor really like not just not just in terms of like oh here's an accidental thing that happened because all of that that i did in that level that was clearly like intended design like they built that for players to learn and figure out that this particular level has tricks to it you can skip shit, you can do X, Y, or Z, like, that's fucking great. I think that's great. Uh, I think it sucked to play <laughs> normally, and the actual process of executing shit, once I figured out that I could do that, was really hard. And the fact that you only get, like, three tries on that first skip every game over kind of sucks, but... You know. <laughs> also, I can probably skip that first skip. You can probably just go to the first checkpoint at the three colored platforms and then shoot the, sw the red switch from the green platform. I think you can do that. And uh, if I ever, for whatever reason, have to play this level ever again, I'll try to keep that in mind. Unfortunately, I don't know that there's like the same tech on other levels, right? Because it'd be cool if like I could take the information I learned on this level and then translate it to other levels. But like, I think I can for sure. Understanding that I can shoot switches like that and kind of like thinking outside the box, shooting what I would think is otherwise out of bounds, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I can work. So damn, there is like no, I don't really know what these next two levels hold and we're not going to find out until like later, but look at this distribution. You have like three levels, a boss fight, then you have like seven levels and then a boss fight. And then it's like fucking uh, it's eight levels or seven levels again. Yeah, I mean, that's five levels. Yes, yeah, three levels, boss fight, five. Six? No, that is six. Six levels boss fight. And then seven levels. 
I don't know if either of these are about, I don't know, whatever. Fucking, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Fucking, man. Fucking dude. Fucking, oh my god. I save that state, baby. Thank you, gamers. I'm like, that experience today's stream i don't know how the fuck that shit managed to even like partially fucking match literally anything that happened ever anyway here's kermit uh he's got his he's got his little thing and like And then I'm gonna build up boosts, all right? And now here we go. All right, so you got you gotta pick up you gotta pick up the little like grapes, and you, you actually build up like a boost meter uh, by picking up the stars. And uh, it's a little slippery, but if you fall in the water, it's okay. You're just kind of out of bounds, and you can go wherever you want, really. Uh, it's a bit like Sonic R in that regard, right? Unfortunately, I don't think you can just pick the winter months and then make every stage like really easy, unfortunately. Uh, I don't really remember what the drift button is for this game, but it's all very like, oh, there is a hot button. You do have a jump that you have access to. Um, but yeah, uh, it's pretty, this game is pretty cool. It's got like clips from all the Muppet movies in it and like all the stages and like horses and like the Grand Prix and stuff are based off of the different Muppet movies, you know, that were all available at the time. And, and I think that's pretty neat. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's got that one fucking loading bar, I think, that's like weaker and it looks fucked up. And I, and I like that. I think that's really cool. I like that loading bar. I think that's kind of awesome. Uh, it's got some problems with invisible walls. Apparently I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I'm supposed to go this way. So like one of the, one of the pro and this is like, honestly, I think the Sonic R comparison is pretty apt because a lot like Sonic R, the stages are like really open. They, they kind of have this like non-linear labyrinthine shape to them. Like you might look at that like mini map down at the bottom. Also the music loop is really short and isn't very good, but you might look at like the fucking circuit at the bottom and it's like, oh, well that looks pretty linear, right? And like, I guess it kind of is, but it's, very, it's a very broad track, right? Like you have all these like different paths, upper and lower paths that you can take. And the level design doesn't like properly communicate sort of how, I don't know. It does not properly like communicate what direction you're supposed to be going in, right? Cause like if you're, if you're designing like a racing game, you want the player to, at least in a kart racer in particular, you want the player to always be able to identify like which direction is forward. Right? Like, that sounds like a dumb thing to say, right? Like, no shit, the player needs to know, like, which way they gotta go. Right? Like, that, that's a no-brainer. But, you'd be surprised, right? And I, and I think, I think the, the Muppet game, um, I think, I, I think the Muppet game has, has a, has, has a, has a problem with, uh, with, with, with clarity. Right, and uh, I I really feel uh, I I I really I really feel like you know with with the right sort. Let's go to the graveyard. I I really feel like you know with with the right kind of like hand. Ah, that's gonna get me killed if I show any of that. Uh, there's Miss Piggy. This is you know my late grandmother. Uh, when I, when I was a child, I, I, I remember very, I remember very vividly that, uh, in my grandmother's office, here's Beaker, I think I will pick the moon buggy. This feels good for this stage. Um, and, uh, in her office, she, know, she, she was a very, like, worldly, artistic sort of person. And, uh, in her office, which I spent very much of my time in as a child, uh, she had lots of like just artwork and um, artwork, reference material, and like all sorts of other stuff, like 
just like all over the place. Like things she got from like traveling all over the world, that sort of stuff. And and there's one piece in particular, like in that whole set of all like the interesting marionettes and masks and things like that that she had sort of in this space of hers. But the one thing in particular that stood out the most to me above anything else was so uh, in the office there was this strip of corkboard that was above the desk, and you know the strip of corkboard, and it was like on the underside of like a bookshelf, one of many bookshelves that made up the office. And this particular, uh, this on this particular corkboard, a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff there, like receipts, shit like that. You know the usual like stuff you imagine to find like in an office. And among some of those things were other like reference materials and you know, a few little like photos, pieces of art. And photos in particular, photos in particular, there was there was one photo that that always stood out to me. It was it was a Polaroid. It was a Polaroid photo, and it was a Polaroid photo of the Muppet, Miss Piggy. Right, and it was an interesting photo. It was a full body photo of Miss Piggy lounging in some kind of lingerie. And, and, and the most interesting thing about this photo of Miss Piggy, um, the most, the most interesting thing about this photo of Miss Piggy was, uh, I don't have any secret courses. Uh, she was naked. Like she was wearing clothes, but she was in the nude. Like she had exposed breasts. So it, it was, it was a nude of Miss Piggy. It wasn't just like a photo of the Muppet Miss Piggy. It was a tastefully taken, artistically rendered, nude photograph, Polaroid photograph of the Muppet, the Jim Henson Muppet can't you Miss ice Piggy. Skate in Central Park in the winter? So no, like, but then again, I can't ice skate anywhere. It was like, <laughs> like where did that come from? And, 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 and I never found out is the thing, right? So years later, years later, my grandmother passes away. And everybody's like going through her shit. You know how that is, right? If you ever had like a, a death in the family, that kind of thing. And, and like now this was like, you know, 15, 20 something years after the fact. And I'm like wondering to myself, was that photo ever real? Was that something I had conjured up in my memory? So sort of going through her office, which had, you know, changed a lot over time, you know, different pieces of work, stuff got moved into storage, moved out of storage, that kind of thing, you know, transformed over time, you know, as time changes all things. And I was kind of left wondering, like, where is this photo? Because I never thought anything of, because like as a child, you see a tasteful new Polaroid photo of the Jim Henson Muppet, Miss Piggy, right? And, and you don't think much of it, right? It's just kind of like, you don't really know what that is as a child. You look at that and you don't really understand. It. However, as an adult, thinking back on, on my past, I, I found myself wondering, where is that photo? Is that photo real or is something I imagined? Because you know, a, a child's memory of something, you will often, as a child, fill in the blanks, you know? You will, like, see something or remember something or have, like, weird associations that aren't necessarily correct. And I, I was thinking that photo might have been one of them. So I had actually asked a couple family members, like, if they found sort of in their pursuit of whatever the hell they were looking for my grandmother's stuff and all of her artwork and things like that if they had ever actually like found like a photo any polaroids any stuff or whatever of that and i was a little like subtle about it at first this is like before my grandmother died actually i was kind of like subtly trying to ask around to see if anyone had found anything of the sort because knowing my family if they found a tasteful nude photograph of the muppet the jim henson muppet miss piggy rendered in felt photographed with a Polaroid camera and, you know, pinned to a corkboard, this, this group of people, they would have liked that. So they would have kept it, right? They wouldn't have, like, thrown that away. That that would have been novel to them, right? So, like, I had confidence that that would have been something that people got. So, I asked around. I'm like, hey, 
I asked straight at, at a certain point, sort of like, you know, I'm like, hey, hey man. When you're going through grandma's stuff, did you ever find like, like a photo of like Miss Piggy, you know, the Muppet? Yeah, no, 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 like, like, I mean, like, no, like, literally, like, 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 like a nude photograph. And, and the thing is, no, no one ever found it. No one ever found it. And as far as I know, because I, I talked to everybody, I talked to, like, my sister, I talked to some so of my cousins who had also spent, like, a, a fair amount of time in that same office, you know, whenever they had come bed. up state oh. to visit and things like that. And... No, I appear to be, as far as I can tell, the only person with any knowledge of this photograph's existence to this day. And it is at the point where, like, the house has been sold, you know, everything was torn out, everything left in the house would have been thrown out, you know, by, like, the realtors, that kind of thing. And so much stuff has been, like, scattered to the four winds as all as, like, all of my grandmother's children and grandchildren have, like, you know, claimed possession of her former belongings and things like that. And part of me is wondering, like, well, it's one thing to be like, is it real? I want it. Let me see it. I want to understand that it was real. And I want to, like, I want I want to, 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 to see this thing I remember to, that I've been imagining for so long. And... But there's another part of me that that goes beyond just like is it real and please can i see it a part of me is thinking well if it is real like let's say it's real and if it is real where did it come from and why does it exist like like i get like miss piggy as like a sex icon right like you know a bit of a meme but she's like this powerful like like you know she, she is a parody of a woman a lot of ways, but much like a lot of parodies like that, they kind of become these sort of powerful sort of symbols of like femininity or whatever, right? And 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 her as like a sex symbol, it makes sense for something like a artistic rendition of her new to make sense. But the thing is, in order for you to take a tasteful nude photograph of the Muppet, the Jim Henson Muppet, Miss Piggy rendered in felt taken on a Polaroid camera and pinned to the cork board in an old woman's office, you would need a Muppet to take a photo of, right? And, and you know, I was a child, right? So for all I know, the quality of this Muppet could have been rather low, right? Like, I, 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 I really have no way of, like, knowing for sure, because this all exists within my memory, and its existence is already dubious. However, like, that means that someone made an, 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 not necessarily erotic, but they made a, a, a naked version of Miss Puppet, Miss Piggy. They, they crafted that, like, deliberately, and then, and then performed a photo shoot with it, right? So, to what end? Like, that's... There's, there's a lot to that, right? Like, who, what kind of person did that? Like, why, where are they now? Are they still alive? Like, is there any way I could find someone like that? This or is, is it like a more general kind of thing? Does like, make you happy? Yes. is this just happy like a photo here. that like not, oh! did my grandmother take this photo? Did my grandmother acquire this photo from someone else? Or like, I don't know. It, it, there are so many questions that I'll never have the answer to, unfortunately. And um, it, it really is just like one of the big sort of mysteries of, of, of life for me is, it, does there exist an erotic photograph of Miss Piggy in the world in, in the way my mind remembers it? And, and part of me really longs to, to know the answer. Even if the answer's no, although I don't know, you know, you can never, you know, I can never prove that it doesn't exist, unfortunately. I would only ever be able to prove that it exists if it exists, of course. And 
I, I did search online, but you know, I was never able to find exactly what I was looking for. Um, but if I if I were to search again, I would probably instead of searching for specifically like weird specialty photos of the Muppet, the Jim Henson Muppet, Miss Piggy rendered and felt taken with a full Polaroid camera uh, and and pinned to an old woman's corkboard. I would probably try to look for like photographers who operated in the area in which my grandmother lived during those particular periods of time. And like, I would try to see if they have like any galleries of photos online. And if like, cause I know my grandmother worked a lot with like the local theater, um, the local theaters in the area and things like that. She did a lot of set design, a lot of like theatrical set design. And uh, it's very much possible that she knew someone through that kind of connection, right? Or any one of her other artist connections. She was a very, um, honestly, a very inspiring kind of person in a lot of ways creatively. Like, whenever I kind of, uh, you know, it, it, it still feels weird to me, kind of considering myself an artist and the things that I do, because, I don't know, I mean, maybe every sort of like modern kind of digital artist kind of things this way, but when you think artist, you think like some Bob Ross type person who is like painting and sketching and doing all this other stuff, and not really someone who's like doing graphic design, like 3D model work and lighting and stuff like that. All that kind of comes across as like business, right? It doesn't really come across as art in a lot of ways. And no, it's like part of me like I, I I would love to kind of live up to that sort of ideal of being like this like worldly artistic sort of person who can just like create whatever mm, and like can know really so old. many people and do so many things and stuff like that oh. and uh, I don't know like, I want to be the kind of person who can in their office just Hang a photo, a nude photo of Miss Piggy that like I or a colleague took. And like, I wanna be the kind of person whose life produces stories like that. And honestly, I think that's like one of the things that like sticks with me about my late grandmother the most is just like how she lived that kind of life where you can hear some kind of weird esoteric little story like that and like, all of it is true. It might as well be true, even if you can't prove it. Because it's like, that's just the kind of person she was. You know? Like, like she she did so many interesting things and knew so many interesting people. And I don't know. Waka Waka. This game is either really hard or really easy. Can't tell which one it is right now. I am in second place though. Can I go up here? I can totally go up there. There's like a, where's the, there is a jump button, I swear. I need to remember to do that more. Like I can go up there probably. I really like how this game looks. It's a little plain, but I do like how it looks. Yeah. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just not the kind of person who like works with sort of physical mediums. I want to change that if I can, but you know, working with physical mediums is usually a lot more expensive. It requires like a commitment of space and time that digital artwork doesn't. And also with digital artwork, I can kind of like throw math at a problem to fix it if I really need to. throw math at a problem if like I really really need to. I think that's cool. Of course math doesn't solve every problem. You just know what you're doing. You need to have a, a direction whenever you're making art no matter what. It's a whole process. But I don't think I'm very good at the artistic process generally speaking. 
probably something to do with like undiagnosed and untreated ADHD or something like that, which makes it really hard to like sort of function normally, you know, in a productive manner. But hey, you gotta take those small victories when you can, you know. Every now and then I turn out something that I think that's pretty good. Oh well. Well, ah, that's Bubsy 3D, everybody. Now, <laughs> before we go, uh, I do have here, uh, uh, here's Bubsy. Enjoy him. For all the time that you can. And appreciate the times in which you have already enjoyed him. Have a good night. Oh, right, and... Remember, winners don't do drugs!